Hey everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude. I'm here with J53518 right here for another one of these live Q&As. And I just want to say very quickly, you guys, sorry it's been like a good couple of weeks since I've done one of these. You know, ever since school got started, it's been very busy with me back in school and I have work now plus, you know, stuff with my family and my time going to advanced screening so I could get my movie reviews out to you guys. So it's been pretty hectic and just more things going on that involve Halloween reviews, but I'm not going to go into details with that right now. So yeah, but I will try to do these. I can't promise every week like I used to, but I'll try to do these at least every couple of weeks. So yes, here I am with J5, and if you guys have any questions to ask us, just Ask away, you guys. Thank you for that beautiful introduction. I think Truman Capote would clap to that. Oh, very good. Very good. I think Hitchcock would laugh and say, that was preposterously creative. But yes, guys, well, you know me. I'm J5358, the man with the plan. Obviously, I am. I'm the original random critic. I'm the crazy guy that helps out Tiger Dude with some other reviews. Speaking of, we'll have to do it tonight, but that's too much information. Please send us questions, and come on, how can you not love a face? Look at that face. Is that a face a mother could love? Yes, it is. Are you pointing at me or yourself? Mm. Oh, right here, right here, huh? Mm. <laughs> mm. Oh, sorry. Okay, don't get a little too weird, man. Brian told me to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Brian told me to do that. Brian, if you're there, man, you're welcome, you sick little... Sick. <laughs> I'm sorry. But anyway, guys, I'm like you said... Take, I just take care of sending the link on my Facebook page. I'm taking care of that right now. Checking my emails. I'm good. I got a new coupon. Nice. For tomorrow. Nice. Well, yeah, guys, as you know, I haven't done... Uh, speaking of those of you all wondering, why didn't Tiger Dude do so much more Splendor reviews? He has. Check out it. And actually, if you're wondering about anime chat... Well, I chat... You know, you know what it's time. Anime chat with J5. We've been taking a break because it was Labor Day. Actually, I actually have a question, actually. This question is from yours truly, J5, me. This is a question I haven't asked you. I was going to ask Brian, but he was too chicken to ask. Brian, I'm right, actually. Thank you. All anyway, right. What's your, what's your question, then? I never asked you this in our in my birthday one because I was, I was being stupid because the movie didn't come out yet. But now that it has, what are your thoughts on Oculus and how is it similar to movies like As Above, So Below and movies like Annabelle? What can you say for that, Tiger Dude? Well, Oculus, if you guys see my movie review, if you haven't, it's on this channel. But I actually really enjoyed Oculus. It really surprised me. I thought it was going to be crap going into it. But I came out going, wow, that was actually a good movie. It was very interesting. And, you know, it had creepy uh, moments to it. You know, it just had a cool atmosphere to it. And, yes, Karen Gillan from Doctor Who was in it. Uh, Brent Tenth Waits, the guy from The Giver, is in it too. And, you know, they actually did a really good job. But how it goes for Annabelle and as, as uh, whatever that movie is called, I don't even care what As Beloved. So as Beloved. <laughs> there you as go, beloved. There you oh. go. I already forgot the title. Wow. But anyways, um, that movie is more of a found footage one. And, you know, they're going deep into these tunnels, whatever they're doing. So you yep. can't really compare that to Oculus. And as for Annabelle, Annabelle's again is focused on the doll. Oculus was focused on the mirror. So yes, they're all horrors. They're gonna have their horror moments, but each story mm -hmm. through those movies are different. So I don't want to really compare Oculus to As Above, So Below, whatever the hell it's called, and yeah. Annabelle. Yeah. Basically, French version of Blair Witch Project. Um, I haven't seen that. I just heard it's nothing but shaky cam in the woods. That's all I heard. <laughs> shaky cam. You hear that, Michael Bay? Stop that shit. <laughs> anyway. Well, he doesn't. He doesn't really shake around his camera. He Michael Bay actually knows how to film. Unlike uh, Brick Mansions, that movie. It was, camera, it was shaky. Uh, shaky. I like Paul Walker. I know Paul Walker tried his best, and even Gabriel Iron tried. He was, he was good in the movie. He was good, and that David Bell dude, who was also in um, the um, Mansions, something like that, B13. That's mm -hmm. what it's a 
Brigmatch is an American remake of that movie, and he was in it too. So David yeah. Bell and Paul Walker, they were both good in the movie. They were the reasons why I could get through how bad the movie is. But overall, it's just not a good movie. I, it's one of my, it's one of the worst movies I've seen this year. True. Uh, you haven't seen, you haven't seen Brick Mansions yet, right, man? I did. I did. I haven't oh. reviewed it yet. It was good. I, I mean, it was meh to be honest. I mean, I could see what they were doing, but I agree, Tony. There were problems, but it was meh. So um. So uh, you enjoyed it more than me, at least. <laughs> a little bit, because it was so yes, bad and practical. I thought it was, I thought it was plain old black. At least you thought it was meh. It was meh because at least the fight scenes were pretty accurate, and I did like seeing parkour, but that was, I'm not a parkour nut. And like the stunts were cool too, but I thought the camera was shaking up so That's much that it. that it made the stunts look like shit, which is sad for me to say. True. Anyway. anyway. How many questions have we got? Let's check. What questions have we got? So far, we got zero. I'm gonna. Damn it. This was a last minute Q and A thing, dude. So don't be surprised if it takes a while for us to get some questions. I understandable. It's a it's a it's a rush in the moment kind of deal. Yeah, it's because, you know, I've been busy lately, but I figured I actually have time on my hands to do this. So I'm like, eh, why not just do a live Q&A, you know? Yeah, nice. Let's see what else. Uh, see, let me check my comments on YouTube. Hey, um, while, while we are waiting for questions, um, let's talk a little bit about um, The Rock being Black Adam. Now, All right. now Jacob. Uh, how do you feel about this whole thing? I'll go with my thoughts, but you know you're more of a comic book reader. You have more knowledge of this, so how do you feel uh, about him being Black gonna, Adam? Do you yes. think it'll fit him? Okay, for those of you guys, and Tony, it's a kind of a lesson for you. I know you don't read comics. I used to read comics, remember. I had to read a bit of Shazam, a little bit of the classics, but for those of you who don't know who this weird mad god is, um, in the original... Actually, let me look at some research, actually. This really help us out. Uh, let's see. Um... His name is Tet Adam. The guy is an Egyptian god. Well, he's a prince who was given, you know, the power by Black Adam. Well, by Shazam, the old wizard who gave Billy his powers, right? He was the first one to be nominated as Captain Marvel. But as years went by, he was abusing bastard and used his power. So Shazam said, wait a minute, you're not ready. So he banished him all the way into the net to the universe. For millennia, he came back to credit kill Billy. Um... Black Adam is a supervillain. He's sometimes an anti-hero, but he's the evil version of Captain Marvel. He was an Egyptian prince and survived in the modern age. He was able to defeat nearly um, the Marvel family, but the Black Marvel family was created by his wife as Isis, the goddess of fortune, Osiris, the god of wealth, and he had his own son named Black Kinder. Uh, this guy is basically a mad destroyer. Here, I'm sorry to interrupt, but just to answer Shanu myself, um, Shanu asked us, what are you doing? And we're just doing a live Q&A. We're answering questions. So if you have any questions to ask us, ask away. Sorry, man. Go ahead and continue. Sorry about that. Nice. It's all right. You can interrupt. I don't have to. Anyway, um, The Rock, I see him. He looks tan. You all know the guy's Samoan. That's close to the tan of Egyptian, just like he was with and I'm going to quote the man's video, yours. Now tell me, who are you, Hercules? Yes. See, you played no. a classic. No, game. no, it's, I am Hercules. I think The Rock can do it. Look at the Scorpion King, man. He almost killed Brendan Flazer and Austin Moff. Look at that. If he can do, I can see it. He has look, the at, him at, look at him in Fast Five and Fast Six. Yes, if he can nearly knock down Paul Walker and freaking Vin Diesel, then yeah. The guy may not be like the bulkiest guy yet, but if he can tone down, cut the mustache, if he can tone down the muscle back to how he was as The Rock, back to his wrestling days, then he has the look, he has the dark demeanor, he's got the look, he's got, I said that twice, sorry. He's yeah. got the, the voice for it, a deep voice, a very thundering voice, so the guy has the power of thunder, and I think he's got it. He can be... And he's a good actor. I have, this might be a first time we see him as kind of a big, serious villain. But with Brain the Rock Johnson, to know what The Rock is cooking, to all you WWE fans, yeah, I think he's a good actor to play the role. He looks the yeah. role, he fits the role. Yeah, I have to say that um, I think he does look very good, too. 
Um, like I said, I don't, I haven't read comic books, so I'm not very knowledgeable with this kind of stuff. But I did look at a few pictures. But like I compared the picture to the rock, and from how I saw the pictures of the character, I gotta say that he actually looks like he could fit the role well because what I saw in the picture looks like Black Adam. It really looks like the rock playing Black Adam. And it would be interesting because, you know, The Rock plays the badass. He plays the good, fight-kicking guy. I mean, look at Snitch. It was one of his different films. You know, um, yeah, sure, it had some action to it. But really, The Rock wasn't like this sumo big star or anything. When he gets his ass kicked, he actually got his ass kicked in Snitch, showing that he's a real father going out there to try to save his son, and that's what made Snitch very different from his other films. So we already know he could play the good father looking out for his son. We know he could play the big macho hero like Hercules or even Fast Five and Fast Six or even the Scorpion King where, you know, he, I guess he's the hero in that one. He's kind of the hero, right? Yeah, sort of. But I agree with yeah. what you're saying, too. That's But, yeah... I think if they can, here's what they need to make the rocks. They need to make them serious. The Black Adam is not a funny villain. He's more of a serious kind of guy. He's an antihero, but a guy has a god complex. The guy is I'm, more. I'm I'm reading that um, you know how you know how DC recently has that no jokes policy now. Yep. Well, I I read that they're gonna make the movie Shazam all funny. What uh, one thing is stupid though. I heard it's actually not going to be part of the connected to the Batman vs. Superman universe, which is stupid. Just because they have the no-jokes policy, they feel the need to separate Shazam with all those other movies because Shazam, for what I read, is going to be all fun and sense of humor, and that includes um, Black Adam, for what I read. At least that's from what I read. First of all, Captain Marvel is known as the Big Red Cheese. Yes, I'm not joking. That's what he's known as. He's... At a point, yeah. he's more popular than Superman. He's a fanboy. He loves Superman. He wants to be a hero, but he's a, he's a man trapped in a boy. He's a boy in a man's body. And I could see yeah. the funny, but I can see the tragedy in it. I mean, you can make Billy Batson funny and a goofball as a kid, but the wrong thing is if they're going against the law right there, you need to make Black Adam serious. If you watch the movie, check it out. If you guys are a fan of Shazam, watch the movie Public Enemies, Batman, Superman versus Black Adam, The Return of Black Adam. That is a great animated movie. And that shows that Black Adam ain't nothing to mess with. The guy's a serious demigod. The guy really beats up Superman and Captain Marvel. Yeah. No mercy. Yeah, I totally agree with what you mean, man. I mean, heck, you can play as him in Injustice. I beat up Billy Batson every time I play as Black Adam. So there, boom. <laughs> oh, Injustice. Good old Injustice. I always <laughs> use it to beat up Harley Quinn and Raven. Yay, Black Adam's my yeah. favorite to use. So, yeah, I, I think he could fit the role, and, you know, knowing this is technically his first time playing a villain, I think um, he'll do a good job with it. And on Twitter, he says, it says anti hero, like he hashtagged anti hero on Twitter. So, mm -hmm. I don't know if that's his way of hinting us that Black Adam will be an anti-hero in a way. At least that's from what I'm assuming since he hashtagged anti-hero on his Twitter page. Could be. But like yeah. I said, on the DC wiki I just was on, it says anti-hero slash villain. Because he's, he's kind of like Slade and Lobo. They're not evil. They're just self-centered. They, they do whatever they want. Yeah, I know what you mean. But yeah, I think he's got it. I can't wait to see the film of Shazam. Yeah, me too. Um, do you know what year it's supposed to come out? No, but I've heard rumors 2016. Yeah. Rumor, but who knows? They haven't updated that yet. You could tell DC is trying so hard to outdo Marvel, but I think they're just trying way too hard at this point. <laughs> I'm glad they're going somewhere, but... Hey, look, hey. it is the one and only motherfucking one, one young, young swag man. five. What's oh, up, man? Oh, what the bitch. What the bitch. And then, uh, uh, dude, I, I believe you remember Jacob, J5358, right? What's up? 
What up, man? What up, wait? What up, homie? Oh yeah, I want it for your female character. I want the dick, the bitch. <laughs> I love your video, man. Classic. I want that bitch. I want to kill him. <laughs> He's talking about your five different women that guys should avoid video. He saw Bro, it. Pick up. Yes. Those women, because I actually relive those moments. Oh damn. So <laughs> that's why I decided to make a video about it because I actually relive. Because I relive. So. So you're telling me a girl literally almost killed you from your from what you portrayed in that video? It's my yeah. dick. They want my dick. <laughs> yes, I, but I, no. I like the way I like the way he's all like, "I'm gonna kill you!" Wow, oh, oh, <clears throat> you bitch. Oh. What up? Bye. Oh yeah. Yeah, Luis, what the fuck was with that, by the way, at the end? We were like, mm -hmm. Oh, Bye. Mm -hmm. Hola, <laughs> What the fuck is wrong with me? I was asking, I was wondering the same thing, man. Hola, ¿qué estás haciendo? Te la acabas de la corte de madre. Ay, chingón. Hey, um, stir, stir fried bacon gaza. Asked us, are balls used for sports only? What the? F <laughs> Get the la pinche problema. What the fuck does that mean? I guess, uh, I I actually understand what he meant. Um, yes, um, balls are meant for playing sports, not in the room. I just meant like this. <laughs> Cut the balls. Yeah. Yeah, I think balls are. Not what? Why did I say bolts? Balls? I, yeah, I think balls are meant for sports. Like, uh, like what one youngster like five said. Not like uh, in another way, but like for playing sports. I mean, like, yeah. Uh, I mean, us got. I mean, if uh, I mean, if uh, I mean, if, uh, I mean, if, uh, I mean, if uh, well, you're a guy and you're into that, I understand. You know, like it's. Oh, sorry, I'm back. It's your thing. Not, <laughs> I ain't even judging, so. <laughs> Okay, I agree with with Luis here. I mean, one is like sorry to call you your name, but no, you can call him Luis, man. You can call him Luis. I agree with what you say. Balls are not okay. Do I have to be Christopher Walken to explain what balls are? Okay, fine, I'll do it. You know, balls are what you use in the fucking sport. Yes, balls are used for sports like football, soccer, baseball, um, volleyball. Yeah, all them sports. I got a, I got a favor, and in my prescription is more cowboys. <laughs> I mean, more cowbell. <laughs> oh, no. Hey, I'm Jacob. Um, can you understand what Sen now see Kaba is saying? Like, can you translate I don't, I don't... what? <laughs> I got to go the to the Q, go to the click on the Q and A app. All right, Sandra Sacaba. Uh, it's in Spanish. Let me see. Uh, question: Sandra Sacaba. Uh, Sandra Sacaba. Comment: Pariant on se fue this No. Do you know what, you know know what he said? Oh no. I don't know. I don't know French. Mm. Actually, French. Actually. Pariant on se fue de ami sur le nord. Oh no. I'm noticing some questions in Spanish. Um. If you guys could try to make them in English, it would be easier for us to answer your question. Sanse, come on, nothing wrong, dude. It's just we don't speak French or Portuguese or, or you know, which language you ever speak in there. Yeah, just right. try to make the questions English if you can, you guys. Please, thank you. Yes, thank you. Actually, since you brought up English, I'll be back, gentlemen. Yeah, let's go sasita con limon. What are you doing, man? I don't know. Entertaining the crowd. Yeah, I've been draining this day. All right. Well, all right. Do something for the crowd. Do something. Did somebody say English? Hey, look. Hey, look, Jacob. Man. Look, Jacob. Luis is entertaining the crowd. Work it. Uh, oh, uh, gosh. No. 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 Please. <laughs> no. Okay. Okay. Right. You're fired, Luis. You are fired. All Sit right. your ass down right. and just talk to us. <laughs> nope, you're you're fine, Luis. Just sit down. Just sit down. 
Síguele. No te los nargas. Hey, siéntate. Siéntate, señor. Ese es el hombre que ahora te somete a los niños nargas. A tu pongo la pinche pierna. I like, I like your sombrero, by the way, Jacob. <laughs> hey, hey, if you if you review the book of life, wear that in your review for that. Man, this is what happens when we don't have questions. It turns into this. <laughs> You could calm down, Luis. You could sit down now. You could calm down. I would sit down, but I don't want to. Well, I demand you to sit down. There you go. Question. I have a question for you viewers. You want sombrero? No sombrero. Sombrero. No sombrero. Tu quieres? Sombrero. Así. Sombrero. Sombrero, sombrero, no, sombrero, sombrero, sombrero. I'm sorry, I need to bring this back. I am a señor sombrero. Swag. Okay, hey, got all quiet now. Yeah, so, sorry. Just trying to just trying to see if there's any questions. That's why. Come on, guys. Is there like any questions you need to ask us? Mm -hmm. Well, uh, we'll take their time, dude. It's because I made this one last minute. So if you see the lack of questions, it's because I made this one last minute. I already started this thing like 20 minutes before it started. That's why. Alright. My God. Don't worry. We always have we always have we always have topics to talk about. Anyways, that we don't have enough questions. There's I didn't finish it. You, yeah, I didn't finish it. Oh yes, for all you viewers that are in El Paso, um, I do go for the chihuahua. Hola. Okay, we have some. Hola, comer hacer para tener amigos en internet. Hi, I I get I I get to make some friends on the internet. Um, wait, you got a, on. Wait, you got a question? Hola, ¿cómo hacer para tener amigos en el internet? Es el net. Es el net o el red. Uh, yeah, you can to make friends in here. Sí. That's a cool thing about having your own channel and doing what you love, because you get to meet some cool YouTubers. I'm a bigger... Yeah. Although, although, although these two I've known before, they had their own channel. So, like, I've known William like Five since third grade, and I've known J Five here since high school. So, El and I think, do I need permission to work in this YouTube channel? Because I think I got my green card. <laughs> is that is that you? Yeah, that's my little shit eating grin. It's my college ID. That doesn't look like you. What the heck? I'm just kidding. Did you get some green card? Oi! Oh yeah, let's go. Oh yeah, let's go. Oh yeah, for you, for you viewers that are watching El Paso, I go for the Paso Chihuahuas. Don't worry. El Paso, I miss you all. So, so that's your team right now, man. Well, Dodgers and Chihuahuas are my favorite team. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Yes, yeah, for. Chihuahuas fans out there, Chihuahuas on the way. I heard someone smoking on your shirt. Who's that hot chick? My girlfriend. Nah, she's not actually. It's just a shirt. Oh god, I'm sorry. It's just a shirt <laughs> with a with a really hot chick smoking a blunt. A guy ring. I'm trying to remember a line you said in your video. This is like my butt. My, my <laughs> Do people look at that shirt and say, "Damn, Luis, you old pimping bitch"? Nah, well, see, everybody has these shirts now, so it's just like, yeah, might as well. You know what? You know what my shirt is? The tiger, the minion. Well, you're kind of close, Jacob, but no, it's not tigers. It's a bunch of lions. 
Awesome. <laughs> imagine, imagine my a lot. This line just popped out of my shit out of nowhere and just attacked Jacob or Luis. <laughs> They're like, Picha Leon, get to there. It's no bit of a Get to get to get to the get to the pitch of the cut off. I don't even know what I said. Sorry about that. <laughs> I guess I don't need a green card when I'm in the forest. I guess I have, not. I have a handler's card. That's all I have. Uh, My food handler's card. That's all I have for work. I have my depot card. It's a brick. It sells for one ninety nine. <laughs> <laughs> They told me to yomp the fence, but it was only two feet high, so I stepped over. <laughs> I give you two bucks. <laughs> you get all dinero. You get all dinero. I'll be right back. All right. Ba la bamba. He covers his screen. I think he just he covers, his, he covers his screen every time he has to go somewhere. La bamba. Tole cola dinero. La bamba. For the, for the two viewers watching, if you have any questions, please ask us in the comments below. Or it, to make it easier, click on the button. Click be part of the conversation on the bottom left corner of the screen and ask all of us questions. Me, J5, Wayne65. Ask us any questions. Be creative. Just anything. Hey, Luis, I'm curious. How come every time you have to go somewhere, you cover your webcam? Because I want to. Plus. Well, fuck. Okay, then. Jesus. Despacio, cabrón. Despacio. Puro tu. Es good. Hey, I, had, I had Arizona tea earlier, man. I know. It's brisk. Not yeah, bad. I know. But, no, but I'm just saying that can just remind me of Arizona tea. I literally had an Arizona tea after I got out of work. ¿Qué, qué se llama la, la refresco, señor? Es un brick. Yeah. One of those, uh, one, one of those Arizona commercials. Nice. Not bad. Arizona hey, look or... at me, guys. I'm in black and white now. I'm in the 1930s. I bet you I could top that. Uh, where do it's called? What's called? Where do I go? Oh, um, you see, you see where it says enhanced. It's under live. Look for the live button on the top right corner. Mm -hmm. Under it, you'll see it say enhanced or smooth. Click on that, and you can later change your screen oh. to whatever. Guys, here's a question by Stir Fried Bacon Giza. Is pussy a cat? Pussy cat? Yeah, I would say it is. Um, yeah. Yeah, um, let's not go into detail with that, but a pussy is a cat. Uh, <laughs> no problem. Yeah, I got nothing. You got nothing. That's your excuse, brother? You got fucking nothing? I'm just kidding. Alright, I'm gonna try this way. Meh. You're meh. If you guys ask me if I can sing any Spanish songs, no, I don't want to. I don't even know I'm staying anymore. For those of you guys tuning in, I'm not going to do the Mexican hat test. That's racist. <laughs> Oh no, we're not even asking you to. I hope you brought your fishing lines, gentlemen, because I'm hooked on a feeling. Dun, 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 dun. Go ahead and leave it. Don't you in love with me? Get it? Hooked on a feeling? You better toss a line, fellas, because I'm hooked on a feeling. Martin Estrada Contreras. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Fuck you, Luis. I'm tired from my guy. Trust me, I was getting in the mood, man. I, I wanted the dancing to go on longer, but you know YouTube and their copyright, so. Los pendejos. Saca la barra. Chingas para la migra. I'm sorry, guys. If you know, if you guys know Spanish, forgive me. Come on, let's go and ask us some questions. Be patient, paciente, señor. Por el tiempo. Remember, we, we always have to, we always have topics, anyways, Luis. We could always talk about a certain topic. Me acuerdo. El tiempo es un miracle, un miraculo divertido. Ando paciendo. This just went from live Q and A to. Uh, ten minutes of J5 talking Spanish. <laughs> yeah. Well, JW Universe, we're here. I'd be, I'd be laughing my ass off. <sighs> oh, I would have loved to see his reaction to us dancing and being goofballs right now. <laughs> oh, yeah. I think there's a song that I want to sing, but I don't want to sing it. It's so bad. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, where is it at? I'm so. I'm so. I'm so fancy. You already know. Uh, I'm the slut bag from Concave to Tokyo. I'm a very fancy man. Very fancy man. Are you not? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, questions, 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 por favor. You, you, I don't want to know so dark. Oh, uh, WWE fan0599 said, let's party, bro. I'll bring that. He, he, was, he was saying that in terms of us dancing right now, I think that's what he meant. Traes una cerveza, señor. ¿Tú quieres? ¿Qué tú quieres? Habla. Hablaste. En esta hora. If anyone has questions, feel free to ask us. Is this smoking prohibited on YouTube? Don't do it. Uh, don't do it too long, though. I don't want any risk of that. Yeah. Don't do it at all, I suggest. Yeah. I died already. My charger wouldn't even work. Good. You need to save your lungs, my friend. Yay, you're drinking... More yeah, questions. Luis, together, let's stop smoking. Let us stop smoking in this world together. Smoking the beef It's actually one of those electric cigarettes. Yeah, I know. Oh, Vapor it's, pills. It's bad. I actually heard, I actually heard they're starting to make it illegal if you do it in public. Like, like, like they just barely made that a law now. I just read that starting... Oh, like actually starting this week they're making it illegal if you do it in public places the electric things oh yeah um oh yeah Dude, let's go there's like this store over here called CVS I don't know if you guys heard about it yes um they uh, it's it's actually a really good thing too that 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 I say that that I say that they're out, that that they're gonna stop cigarettes Sending cigarettes over there at CBS. Interesting. Nice. Only you can prevent forest and urban fires. Whether you live in Compton or in uh, Juarez. How do you think Mickey Rourke from Sin City would react to no smoking, Jacob? <laughs> I think he'd be able to go grab a like he would grab a cigarette and beat the crap. I think Mar wouldn't give a damn. I think he'd just kill anyone. Yeah, he's all like, um, excuse me, sir, it's illegal to smoke. <clears throat> excuse me? Excuse me, take your Any questions, questions, questions? Don't worry, I'm keeping that for that. Like I'm I said, queen. there's there's always there's always topics. I'm queen of the castle. I'm king of the castle. Are you not? If you all know what I'm referring to, please comment in this live stream. I will love you as a friend. Mm -hmm. All right, I might have I might have another guest coming on right now. Is it Preston? Please don't. No. 
Hey, hey, don't be, don't be mean. He's cool. Don't be mean. He messed with Adam, and he messed with me. Yeah, I know. Right, but that, let's not let's not talk about that. You know, that's all personal stuff. I know. You know? That's all personal. Buena música. Gracias. Tú quieres tocar la música de rock and roll o la urbano rap? Yeah. I'm sorry, speaking Spanish. Buena, just... buena música. Very good music. Why, that, why gracias. Muchas gracias. Sanosicaba. Señor Cava, muchas gracias, pero no, tú es no estúpido, tú es un genio, es un genius, generoso. Hey, um, Jacob, you know some Spanish, um, can you ask him if he wants to ask his question? Ah, uh, señor Cava, uh, tú quieres, uh, tú, tú tienes, uh, ten, tienes, uh, la, tienes, uh, pala, uh, pa, pa, uh, pala, oh, preguntas? Para uh, nosotros, ¿te quedas? Por favor, tú tienes, ten, tienes preguntas, por favor, habla, señor. Es un merci. Oh. Wow, thank you, Luis. Thank you for helping me out. Um, <laughs> me and Luis are on our, on our, are on our drinking mode right now. All right, I'm 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 not on drinking mode, but all right. Hey, Luis, look, look what look what I look what I brought with me, Luis. Ah, <laughs> quita las gafas, quita las gafas. Oh yeah, huh? quita las gafas, gafas. He doesn't mean take it off. Fine. What are you trying to say, bro? Quitar las Quitar means to take off. Okay, okay. Quitar means to take off. Fine. Si, sí, señor. Yo, te, yo quito las gafas. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, I can yeah, see. To all the viewers that are watching, drink brisk and Arizona. Brisk and Arizona are the best teas in the whole wide world. A freaking man. Amen. I thought it was Arnold Palmer, but I agree. Brisk is amazing. These are my addictions. Thank you, guitar, senor. You're very nice to me, senor. Muchas gracias, wey. Muchas gracias. Anyway. Thomas Gafas, I did. Thank you, Sunsei. Uh, yo quito las uh, gafas. Gracias. Excuse me. All right. Uh... If I, I mean, you know what's good about this, guys? We can learn languages. We can learn French, Japanese. I personally want to learn Italian or Japanese, but, you know, that's just personally. Hey. <laughs> hey, it's Taylor Bird. Uh, hi, it's I'm Jacob. It's WWE Fan0599. Um, yeah. I'm J5. Hi, nice to meet you. I'm the little guy in the little hat. What's up? Yeah, this isn't my real account, just my WWE fan one is not working for some reason with this, so... So, it's like the last time? Yeah. Alright. Yeah, he All right. remember, remember my six-hour long Q&A, Jacob? Um, uh, yeah. he, actually, he actually came on way later after you and the others uh, got off the chat. <laughs> like four hours um, into the Q&A, he came in. All right, probably this one I won't be on as long as th that one did. Oh, that's fine, man. That's fine. What do you got? And look, thanks for, thanks look, for coming on. You're welcome. Just like the last time I wore a Ron Burgundy shirt, now I'm wearing one again. That escalated. That, let me just say this. That escalated quickly. Yes. Uh, yes. Plot, plot yes. twist. He has five of those shirts. Hmm. Actually, I have three Ron Burgundy shirts, actually. So you're kind of correct. Oh, okay. Um, I have one where it says, um, um, you stay classy, San Diego. I have this one that says, I'm kind of a big deal. And the one I wore in the last stream was the uh, um, no touching of the hair or face. I yeah. think this should make us I have a t-shirt idea. Hello, what? I'm Ron Burgundy. Go, f and as I went from Channel 4 News, go fuck yourself, San Diego. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Ron Burgundy. Love I love that line from the movie when he just says accidentally says that on the news. Ron, where Remember? are you? 
Over the glass case of an oh, well, that's, oh, because, well, that's because he, for what, I've only seen the movie month, once before I remember he was reading off of what they told him and he just said that when he was reading it. Yeah, they'll read, they'll, like, he'll read anything off of the teleprompter. Yeah. <laughs> it could say, it could say, what is it? I stink, and he'll still yeah. read it. Yeah. I hate you, you poop. It's, like, uh, it's like I know I'm in the minority where I just don't really care for Anchorman, but one of the most hilarious lines in that movie to me is definitely the, your poop. Your poop. Your poop. Your poop. Your poop. Your poop. God, please. Your poop. Give me my video, That's enough, man. Your poop. Your poop. Your poop. Um. Yeah, Anchorman is one of my favorite movies of all time. Yeah. I love that movie. It's so hilarious. No, yeah. the sequel I'm, glad, I'm glad you guys enjoy it. I'm glad you guys enjoy it. Um, I hate the sequel. I don't know. It just every time, every time, what is it? Um, it's on. It gets better and better for some reason. True. I agree. Hundred percent. Um, the second one, I like the second one. Unlike I most people, it. I know. I know most people didn't like the second one, but I thought it was good. I, it's because I didn't watch all the trailers that had all of the funny stuff in it. That's why. Hey, remember, Jacob, opinion. Exactly. Just like, just, like, just like how you like Sucker Punch, but I hated Sucker Punch. I've never seen it, so. Yeah, I thought, I thought Sucker Punch was a piece of shit. It's good for the action sequences and all that. Like, whenever the action goes on, I'm entertained. But when there's no action, I'm just a little like, ugh, when's this movie going to end? Because the storyline was terrible, the characters weren't really all that interesting to me, other than the main chick and Vanessa Hudgens, and I guess a couple of more for I remember, but overall, yeah, I, I just hated it. I just thought it was crap. Um, Have you guys ever seen The Crow? Yes. Uh, I haven't. Jason made well, last movie for well, well, Brandon 22 Lisa. Tiger Dude, you better drive to the store, pick up that DVD, and watch it. It was so It's amazing. The Crow 2, The City? Nah. <laughs> and no, it's, never called, it's, called the, it's called The Crow, right? Yes, The Crow. Yeah. It stars Brandon Lee, which unfortunately was his final movie. Well, I, am do, well I am doing Halloween reviews for next month, and this month is me watching a crap ton of Halloween reviews, so... I'll see if I could try to squeeze the crow in because I already have a ton of movies to review for next month. But I'll see if I could try to squeeze that movie. Maybe into maybe that should be a collab review with me and you. Maybe we should do that since I love the movie yeah. so much. Maybe, yeah, because maybe. that's what I plan to do with the Holland reviews. I review a movie and I try to get a different YouTuber in almost every review for next <laughs> month. So yeah, if I do plan to do it, I'll let you know. I yeah because I, I I'll praise that movie till. Till the sun goes down, I I love that movie. It's just yeah. oh yeah. Do you do you guys know the story of what happened with Brandon Lee? Um, I don't really remember. I heard something about an accident on the um, studio. They had yeah, a um, what is it? They had um a revolver the and there was a po supposed to be a scene where he gets shot and there was an actual like a kind of a real bullet in there. And, and he shot, shot Brandon. It shot Brandon Lee in the stomach, and after six hours of surgery, he unfortunately passed away. So this was his final yeah. movie. I know it's sad, but it's sad to hear did that he... Betty White died. Um, did Betty White really die, man? Because oh, I read that it was a. Many, I, I read many... that. I read that it was a hoax. No, I read that yeah, it was a hoax. I even I even looked it up, and it didn't say anything about her passing away. Oh, okay, my bad. Okay, although, I, although oh, I am reading right now, though, that Joan Rivers passed away, though. Okay, I'll, oh, believe, anyway, when, I'll believe when Betty White is dead when they, like, make, like, something on the news about it, because there's been a rumor about that before, but then it was a hoax, so I don't really believe it right this second. I think so. I just thought, okay. Anyway, stop talking about death is sad and all that. I don't know. Yeah. Well, anyway, for those of you guys wondering, I have an upcoming October live stream for you guys. Here's Very some cool. Details. October 3rd. Also... You can join, WWE fan. You can join, brother, if you want. Are you, are you guys friends join. with each other on Facebook? Brother. Oh, yeah, guys. Um, oh, I'll have Facebook. I got, I got a very special shout-out to say. All right. Yeah. To my friend, Crystal Galil. 
she's uh, watching us right now. I just sent her the link to your YouTube page. So, hi, Crystal. Hello. Thank you very much for Hello. watching all of us guys just chatting and goofing around. And Taylor, I don't know if you watched the three of us dancing and going nuts earlier. Crystal, I got to say something. <laughs> You're a good friend. Uh, do, 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 You actually did watch that? <laughs> that was hilarious. I was like, okay, after seeing that, I have to, I have to get into this. We have, we got to part hey. Do you, do you hey, know the um, joke, Taylor? You guys, since, since Taylor is here, one more time, at least for thirty seconds, play that Mexican song we were dancing to earlier. Ready? Yeah. Samba. Just for, Samba. just for Taylor. Let's do this for Taylor. I have it on Pandora. I have it on Pandora, so I'll just like. Uh, uh, All right. Twenty-two tiger dude. <laughs> Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. Alright. Ah, that felt good. What you wanna ask me, Taylor? Sorry about that. I was getting in the Um Sorry. Um, I would rather if you just call me WWE fan if that if that's cool with you guys. Yeah. See this. I can see you, John Cena. You suck. Wait, Jay? Oh, yeah, I have wrestling posters. Oh, hey, John yeah, Cena. His it, yeah. username is WWE fan for a reason, Jake. I know. Yeah. I hate John Cena. He's a I don't like John Cena either, so. My man. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't hate him, though, but I don't think he's, like, the greatest wrestler ever, you know? He's oh, you watch actor. wrestling, too? Yeah. He's not the greatest actor. I know that. <laughs> yeah, he's not a great actor either, mm -hmm. so. Even Randy Orton, if you know who my name is. <laughs> uh, yeah, Randy's not that good of an actor either. But Most Megan said one person. I know one, The Rock. Yeah, and Batista. Batista's a good actor too. Drew. If you've if you've seen Guardians of the Galaxy, then you I, know what I'm talking I, about. I, I, I'll be honest. I kind of thought he was one of the weakest parts of Guardians of the Galaxy. That was uh, one of my that was one oh, of my really? few flaws with the movie. Yeah, like I did say in my review, I thought he was decent in the role, but I just thought he could have been more stronger, and he wasn't as strong compared to like Chris Pratt or Bradley Cooper or Zoe Zeldana to me. So, um, but he was yeah. he was decent. He did he did okay for what he had. He was decent. Actually, I have a question for all of you, and it just came up to me in a video that no one actually commented. I'm surprised. Can I be a good anime voice actor? And yeah. all of you watching this, can I be an anime voice actor? If you want, ask me who to do impressions of. I'll amaze you with my wowie. All right, go for it. Can you, do a voice, can you do a voice impression of Arnold Schwarzenegger? What are you talking about? <laughs> Arnold, what are the three ways the men crush your enemies? It's either laid before you, and here's the limitation of the women. <laughs> Get to the chopper now! Oh here, yeah, kill me! Throw oh, away, uh, Luis is crazy. Can we say something, Luis? No. Ah, uh, nah, I don't do no impression. Yo, fucking quiet, boy. Put the cookie down. Come I on, do Luis. You gotta, you gotta get, in, you gotta get no. into this, man. You gotta embrace it. I, I get, I get, I get, I can do an impression of Hulk Hogan <laughs> if anybody wants to hear it. Go I, ahead, brother. Well, let me tell you something, brother. I went down on the crushing of those sharks, and brother, 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 what you gonna do, brother, 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 like, ooh, yes, no, you don't get them. No, ooh, yeah, and then do a slim jim, like, the whole quad of my savage, the west, go to the west, north, south, east, then do a slim jim, ooh, yeah, so I'm the cream. The cream well, of the crop. And there's no well, one better than Macho Man. That's right, Macho Man. Oh, yeah. I, I can do a sort of an impression of Nicolas Cage. Oh, you're well, more... Well, uh -huh. I'm, well, I'm Nicolas Cage. I shake my head and shake my arm all the time. I'm Nicolas Cage. I'm that's the Ghost I'm Rider. I'm, I'm going to take his face. I'm going to take his face off. How to get burned? 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 I don't know. Hey, uh, WDA fan, uh, I gotta say, I think it's cool how in your room you hang all of those shirts and posters behind you. Like, I like how you yeah. set up your room, man. It looks really cool. 
That is yeah, very cool. I have. Yeah. That's my. Yeah. That's <laughs> cool. Thanks. Man, thanks look for at that. That's, that. that's a cool. That's a cool setup. Good job. Thanks. Uh, this is actually. Of course, my you, this is my only setup, as you can see. Uh, well, this is not my setup for my videos. I actually do it downstairs. That's yeah. where I have my Superman and Godzilla and Robocop poster. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Uh, and, uh, Jake, don't being here for some reason. Okay, I think. Okay, I think. Um, I can try and do an impression of Mark Wahlberg. I can sort of do it. No, I think. I, I think it. we got the best one that's right next to you, my friend. I think the man can do the best. No, 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 Optimus. I will not make a porno with you. No, I will not get down with you. Did somebody say porno? Optimus. What? Yeah. Optimus. Somebody say Khrushchev. Optimus. Okay, guys, I think, I think we had. A Ladies and gentlemen, I no. think we've got into impression mania. I think. Okay. Okay. Wait, uh, Jacob, uh, no. WWE's trying to do his impression. I'm sorry. Mark Keep Wahlberg going. trying to talk. Try, Mark Wahlberg trying to convince Mega, Megatron not to fight them. Well, Megatron, don't don't fight them. Make peace with each other. Come on, come on, say hi to your mother for me. Come on. <laughs> do we have to fight each other? That's a good uh. one, man. That's a good impression. <laughs> Um, I'll try to do an impression of Optimus Prime. I am Optimus Prime. Mark Wahlberg, we have to fight the Megatrons. They're, set, they're going to destroy the Earth. I think there's no Autobots assemble. Let me do it the way. Yeah, you did it better. I think I got it down. Autobots recon. Sam, I'm put the cube. In the beginning... <laughs> There was the I can do an impression of Agent Smith from The Matrix. I have your dick, Mr. Anderson. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay. let's do this. Hold on. Hold on. Man, Luis, you're so quiet, man. Come on, get Mr. into the program. Mr. Anderson, you must be. You what? are not living one but two lives, Mr. Anderson. <laughs> Bless you. Bless you. Bless you, man. Here, let's see if Luis could try to do one. He's too quiet. It scares me. Emo. I could try to do a Yoda voice. <laughs> All right, do it. I want Let's to see do it. it. Let's see it. Hello, young fellow one. That's good. That's good. Hey, dude, that's a good impression. That's an impression. Very good, now. Right. Very, right. Very good, young fellow one. Yoda, wash not make one. I love booty. Okay, I'm gonna do an impression of Triple H now. He's a wrestler as well. Oh God, there you go. <laughs> Ooh, Triple H, the gamer. Daniel Bryan, you're not an A plus player. Uh. Well, that That's was it. pathetic. Triple H. That, sound, that sounds um, like he was taking a shit in the bathroom. No, how, I think I got one that might scare. That's how he talks. He talks. He does talk like that a lot. No, I, I think no, I know that. I'm just saying. I'm just saying how you did an impression of him. Sounds like he's doing it in the bathroom. <laughs> Triple H. Sometimes it's heaven. Try to get to hell. You may he face was... me at WrestleMania, but not to hell with the dead man. Rest. Oh, oh yes. Won't you take oh, me, oh, oh, You sound like a sexist bastard. Don't be afraid. You have a chance to face my Undertaker in SummerSlam. Oh, yes. What a beautiful match. Hope you're able to face it, WWE fans. Because here's my Undertaker. Rest in uh, if I fought the Undertaker, it would even last. It would even last a point. It, it would be point five seconds. Of How's my Paul Bear impression, WWE fan? I hope you like it. Hey, uh, hey, uh, WWE fan, I, I want to get your opinion on this. Um, me and Jacob talked about this uh, in, at the beginning of this live Q and A. <coughs> but how do you how do you feel about The Rock as Black Adam? What are your thoughts about that? He's gonna be awesome. As you think Adam. he fits? You think he fits the role perfectly? He does. I didn't want to see him play Shazam. I don't know if you guys, but I don't like Shazam. I like Black Adam. No, I, 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 I never knew that. I, 
I think he's a very silly superhero, but I just I'll go to see if they're gonna do a Shazam movie. I'll just go and see The Rock's Black Adam beat beat up, you know, Shazam. So that's just yeah. me. I think um, Rock was a great choice for Black Adam. That's just me. So it's all like so it's all like he was choosing either to be another hero or to be a villain. Yeah. And as he I'm, takes I'm the glad, shades I'm off glad, in the, I'm glad the he chose Black Adam. I'm glad he chose Black Adam because that role seems to fit him more, anyways, based on what I see in the image of him. Yeah. Oh, nice. Sorry, guys, if we did many impressions, but that's just an example. But I want you guys to back to the question. Do you guys think I got what it takes to be a voice actor? Yes. Yes. Explain. My WWE first, Tiger Dude, and La Puta with the Bitch. No, this is my life, QA. Okay. I'm going to say it first, damn it. I'm just kidding. All right. All right. WWE All right. Fan. Um. Let's see. Uh, I I think you have maybe the right voice to do voice acting because it takes like that kind of special voice to do voice acting. Well, you know, this is something. The well, you know, come to hunt us down. Uh, you... no. okay, let, let, let him talk before you do more impressions, man. Sorry. Here, wait. I think he's kind of frozen right now. He's frozen in time. Okay, there you go, there you go. We have him back. There you go. All right. Are you there, uh, WWE? Hey, Taylor, I don't think I can hear you. Are you there? No, sorry, WWE, yeah. Are you there, man? Hear us. Hold on. I like movies. Hey, uh, WWE, we can't hear you. Your mic's on mute, I believe. Hey, who is uh, doing that flapping thing? Uh, Jacob, the son of a bitch. Hey. Pervert. Go in the restroom and do your business. Hey, Taylor, I'm uh, sorry. Uh, WWE, we can't hear you. Your voice is off. Hello? WWE fan, hello? Housekeeping, señor, housekeeping. ¿Quieres amarrar? ¿Te va a los pompis? Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't do that. Hello, with the bitch. Hey, uh, dude, hey, dude, we can't hear you. No, man, like, I think your mic's on mute. Oh, okay, I, I got a chat. Yeah, hold on. All right. WWE fan. That's what you were saying, my friend. Before you got cut off. About? I meant WWE fan. Well, right now, well, right now, uh, we can't hear him right now, so. Okay. So get back to I'm trying second. to trying to talk to him right now. Hold on. Your voice is. Make sure your mic isn't off, man, because we can't hear you right now. Any, uh, okay, so like, how do you say, anybody want to know how to take off a bra? Does everybody know how to take off a bra? Why? <laughs> what? What the heck is that uh, kind of question? It just ain't the perverts live stream. I saved that for Christmas, all right. <laughs> um, wow, okay. it's so quiet, and that's what you bring up, man. Yes, actually, I don't even know why I just brought it up. So. All right, so what? What? What is it about with bras? <laughs> okay then. Let's go. Okay then. Let's say. All right then. You have a girl right here. You, this is like an invisible bra, right? Oh, Y'all like in there and all that, like, mm. and then, and then, and then, and then, uh, and then you're trying your best to unclip her bra, but like you can't really do it, like. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh uh, wait, I've gone to the farthest reaches of space, and I've never seen things so anatomically stupid and perverted in my life. I'd rather watch Game Grumps. I'd rather watch Fancy ten times more without right, banging right. over and dying. Alright, so, right, then, guys, you guys, you guys are about to. You guys are about to get schooled right now, right? Oh my gosh. 
Oh. I think it's the people watching this are about to get scolded. Oh my god. Yes, yeah, so like, over here. Um, okay, are we back? Up. Okay, are we good? Um, you're in the middle of a perverted lesson about taking off brawls. <laughs> Please <laughs> ask us questions to stop this madness. Bad, right, uh, what, bad news. What bad. happened? What happened? I did not stop okay, it. I'm back. back. I'm back. What happened? I'm back, Tyler. Okay. What? Yeah, WWE fans back. Yay. Finish Yay. your question right. about me okay. being a voice actor. Finish your question. <laughs> Grand tournament. Um. Okay. So, uh, I don't know. Everything frozen. Everything when I was um on the stream, everyone just muted. Everyone was frozen. It was weird. I thought you said frozen. Um, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, where man. was I? Okay, like I said, you just have that special voice for like voice acting, so that was my answer. Uh, okay, I was just singing it, but I I gave up. You know what? I'm not gonna do it because it's so old and just stupid now. All right, before I answer that, Louise, wants you give us your lesson on the bra thing? I'm yeah, actually yeah. gonna see what you have to <laughs> okay, say. Okay, it's gracious. <laughs> yeah. All right, All right but let's be completely silent and hear what he has to say. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Like, but like, but I like, but I like, but like the the key to taking over broad, you know, is that, because like, you know, girl, because <laughs> okay, please, please we're, guys, we're we're watching, we're watching, don't worry, we're, we're watching, watching, don't worry, Jacob, Jacob, watch this, okay, this okay. Is a star. A star. Like, no, no, no. Oh, if uh, it's good. If I was, if it's good, it's good. If I was, if you freaking follow my tip, you might get laid. So, oh boy, I'm so, listening, teacher. So like, so like, how do you say? You know, it's because be, be, you know how some girls have their bras with the little hooks like that, right? <laughs> um, I don't know. <laughs> so like, yeah. so like, so so like, uh, you reach under her shirt, but like, make sure your hands are warm though, you know, because. Because whenever you don't get over a you know, like, I win! Yeah. Do the quagmire thing, sneak it away from her, giggity. I got a brown. Quagmire. All quagmire. Stop being a pervert, Loretta. How are you guys? Let's try not to laugh and listen to Louise. Wow. Okay. Like, you are. It's good, so. Alright then, guys, you guys stick up your hands on a girl's shirt. And you use this finger it's like a ninja turtle. It's like a ninja turtle. And you put this your middle finger on there. Yeah. And you're gonna and with and watch I'll show it to you again. You're gonna put your middle finger under the middle, and with these two fingers, you're gonna pinch, 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 pinch. Automatically comes down. There again, ninja turtle. Ninja <laughs> turtle. <laughs> Middle finger under. Oh. Fingers. Pinch, pinch, pinch. That's how you unclip a bra. Boom. Oh. Oh. Well, Louise, trust me, I love girls, and when I admire a girl for her face or her body, it's just like, okay, I admire it. But I don't come close to reaching under her shirt and trying to get off her bra. <laughs> oh. Oh. Just curious, man, have you actually... Yeah, I know it's weird to ask, but have you actually done that before? Um, I've actually did actually. That's why I'm showing you guys because yeah. <laughs> I really. Well, I really it's a good to lesson to those right. who are watching this, really anyways. Lesson. You guys need to learn. <laughs> wow. You know, people would tell you to, you know, tell you to move, move, move with your life and tell you what career choices to do. But no, this guy tells us to. <laughs> Hook a girl's butt. <laughs> okay, I agree with you. Uh, type WWE. WWE uh, sorry, I agree with you. Luis is a good friend. Yes. I just had him during my life. But I want to be a voice actor. When the fuck will I get the chance to go to him and say, "Hey, it, you did a very it good all voice. takes patience, me, man. You, oh, oh. It, it, it's just like any job, man. You gotta work hard for it. You gotta be you precise. Gotta, you gotta be diligent. You gotta finish your. Of course, first of all, finish college and then just try to do what you can do to get your dream uh, job. You know, you be like Magneto and just but work hard for it. Yeah, I see. Just like Magneto. Needle. 
I actually want you to swear. I have actually I have had a question for you for a long time, and I've been <clears> trying <throat> to get this question because I've been wondering to get in my life since God damn it. Thank you for your broad lesson, by the way, man. I am not going to forget about that for the rest of the day now. Seriously, yes, thank you so much. Ninja Turtles, Ninja Turtles. Ninja Turtles. <laughs> that's, a, that's a good way of describing that list. Sorry to all the viewers that are watching this. I'm sorry, but like, I really have to give you guys a full lesson. For, like, all I love people. you guys as friends for this is let's go, let's go. Oh, yeah. so, this, this might be better than the last stream out there that are watching for the virgins out there. You know that's oh. how you try to get a girl oh. turned on. You know uh, you know ways to like. Oh, you know swag. I want to swag. Man, swag. I, 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 J5, what is your question? Uh, but, uh, okay, I had a question. It's a big question, but here it is. Put on your sombreros and start out, piss. We're going down the border for this shit. <laughs> <laughs> what did you want to be with the YouTuber? How did you want to? How did you get on YouTube? How did you meet Tony? And why are you so damn gangster? Damn it! <laughs> all right, so how? So how I met Tony was in an elementary school. It was at this elementary school called Rosa Guerrero. We actually grew up together, actually mostly. You know, mm. he's my best friend. We, we met. We we met each other in a class. I forgot I forgot the name of the teacher, but I just know we met in some kind of reading class, I believe. Yeah. Or P it was, or P class. It was one of those two for sure. Yeah, yeah. But like, yeah. So that's how we met, you know. And then and then from here on there, we started hanging out. Yeah. It is now. And then and then how he got started on his channel. Well, you know, um, I'm sure you know, dude. But you would guest star on my channel before you started your own channel. And I remember one night we Skyped together, and he actually told me, "Hey, dude, I actually want to start my own YouTube channel." And I'm like, "Really, bro? That's good." Because I guess he liked do I guess starting some of my videos when I started my own channel. That he figured, why not just start his own channel too? So yeah, you know, like actually, for me, really inspired me to like make YouTube videos. I mean, uh, I mean, I made, I mean, I made my first YouTube video like. A long ass time ago, but like wow. I, stopped, but like I stopped making them for like certain reasons, and now I'm back to making them again. You were, you were just you were real quick. You were just really busy with work, huh? Yeah, and some other stuff. Real quick. Sorry, uh, what do you have to say, man? Sorry about that. Uh, this is kind of random, but I don't care. Uh, let me try and get it first if I can. Hold on. Alrighty, alrighty. If you guys, you does anybody like the Punisher? Uh, I've, never, I've never seen that, to be honest. Alright, guys, read this book. Read this book right here. The Punisher River of Blood. It's awesome. I have seen that, actually, before. Yeah, it's a really cool book. You guys should really read it. It's a really cool book. Yes, cool. We'll get a chance whenever we read. Alright, I don't know, maybe it might be... Uh, Maybe it might be on Amazon or something. I don't know, but it definitely should read it. I I really liked it. I like I like the Punisher. Probably maybe besides Batman, my favorite like non super powered superhero. Yeah, yeah. Oh, totally. uh, yeah. Nicholas, Nicholas Dawson said hi. Hey, Nicholas Dawson, how are you doing? If you have any questions to ask any of us, go ahead, ask away. We could use some questions. Nice. Sorry, guys. I just, uh, me and my dad were talking in. Uh yeah, my stepdad and I. I love you, Sam. If you're ever gonna watch this, I love you as a stepson too. It's stepfather. Uh, that's my step. Anyway, um, I have a question for to any of you: DC or Marvel? Marvel. Marvel. I'll go with Marvel. Yeah. Because with Marvel, they have you know the Hulk, Captain America, the Punisher, Iron Man, Spider Man, Wolverine. DC just. Okay. Really, the only like big players to me. Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, Green Lantern, Green Arrow, Flash, uh, Raven, Nightwing, Blade. I could go. I could Slade. I could go as long as I can. Well, the, really, Hot the girl. only characters mm -hmm. I care about really in the DC universe are Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, The Flash, Green Lantern, Green Arrow. Those are the really the only six I care about. 
you had to forget when when illegal immigrants close down their own Chapman's. There's only one Latino that can save the day. The gardener. <laughs> I tried. No, that was funny. That really was. I take of uh, just this one lawn at a time for twenty dollars an hour. See. I don't know if I was supposed to laugh out that, was I? Yes. Okay. How offended are you? Thank you. <clears throat> hey, speaking of, speaking of Flash, are you really excited for the Flash TV show, WWE? Yeah, I'm going to be tuning into that. I'm more excited for Arrow Season 3, but I, I am pretty excited for Dang Flash. Dang it, thanks for reminding me. I it's, have to repeat that one, stuff tonight. It's one, month, it's one month from now. Now that I'm counting down, Season 3 is one month from now. And the flash Ooh. is going to be in one month from now. So Ooh. one more month, gentlemen. One more yes. fucking month. Ooh. Yes. I'm, I've been pumped ever since June when I watched season at the end of one season second, two. I'm back. I had an idea. Pumped. One second. Keep talking. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. Yeah, I said ever since June when at the end of season two, I've been pumped for season three. Now it's almost coming. Yeah. Um... And also, I'm pretty excited for season five of The Walking Dead, and I'm pretty excited for season one of Gotham, which is, I think it's in two weeks, I believe, or three. I I heard Walking Dead usually starts in October, for what I heard. Yeah, I'm talking about Gotham. I think it's like in three oh, weeks. Oh, Gotham. Yeah, I think it's in three weeks. Yeah, they said the last week is September, before I remember. And there's other immigrants that never come the way. There's always a hero in the sky. <laughs> Oh, shit. The Lucha Libre? Even though I never really watched Joan Rivers' stuff, it is said that she passed away, though. Uh, no offense, but who's Joan Rivers? Maybe name a movie I might remember. No, um... Boy, um... Well, like I said, I haven't really watched much of her stuff. I just know she would... I forgot what show she had, like some kind of talk show, I believe. And I don't Hola. know. She, she's Hola. part of. She was yes. part of something. That's what I'm saying. I'm. I'm not even sure what she does, but I know I will see I'll, her pop I'll on TV. Probably look it up later. Over, so yeah. But yes. uh, even though I was never familiar with, the, even though I never really watched her stuff, you know, it's sad that she passed away. You know, just like when Philip Seymour Hoffman passed away, mm. I never really watched any oh. of his movies, but I was still sad. You know? Yeah, I kind of saw uh, I I kind of saw it coming that Joan Rivers might pass away because of a Thursday of her having to rush to the hospital. So I don't know something kind of gave me a feeling she wasn't gonna make it. You know? Oh, that's oh now no, oh now now it just popped back into my head. Now I know who she is. Yeah. Yeah, yeah was, so, so, yeah. I was like, for a second, who and is she? And then it right back into my head. I was like, and, oh. my, and my hearts and prayers go out to the family of Joan Rivers. I'm sorry for your loss. Me only too. Thing I could, only thing I can remember that she did was she made, like, a little cameo in Iron Man 3. Oh, wow, yes, I remember that. Yes, me too. That's really the only thing I can really remember. Yeah. So uh, recently, Chris Stuckman did his top ten favorite comic book movie. So I have to yeah, I, I I watched what, that one. Yeah. What is your guys' top ten favorite comic book movie? I'll let everyone else go. I'll be last. I I am I'll I am first. out on this. I I can't do a top ten list, so I am out on this. I'll go first. I guess then. Number ten, X Men First Class. Great movie. Number nine, Iron Man, the first one. Awesome. Awesome movie. Number, number eight, Captain America, the Winter Soldier. Yes. Number seven, maybe my, people might chuck that so low on the list, but Superman, the movie. Hey, that's a really good movie. That's not going to make me chuck. <laughs> okay, number six, Guardians of the Galaxy. Awesome. Lower. Okay, number five, the Incredible Hulk. Yes. yes. Number four, The Crow. Have yet to see that. Number three, Spider-Man 2, the original Spider-Man 2. Yes, my favorite Spider-Man movie of all time. Number two, 
the Avengers. Yes. And number one, come on, we all know what's number one. Can we Tank all? Girl. Bat Batman and Robin. No, no, no. Is it um? I got one. Is it superhero movie? <laughs> Can anybody guess? Any more guesses? Okay, okay. I'm gonna Barbed guess. Wire? Okay, The Dark Knight. Am I correct? Rises. You win a million dollars. Yes, number Give one. Give me that. Oh, okay. Is the Dark Knight. Uh, Rises or just The Dark Knight? Um. Just the Dark Knight. I'll do like trilogies. I do one per franchise. That's oh, why, okay. yeah. That's why I don't. I didn't put Man of Steel on my list because I did one per franchise. Yeah. Or I didn't put the original Spider-Man, or maybe X2 Whoa. X-Men United because you know I did one actually, per franchise. I'm actually, I'm actually surprised Man of Steel wasn't in your list because. I know you and James in my previous Q and A were like going crazy on how much you guys love Man of Steel, and I yeah. love the movie too. So oh, yeah, yeah. yeah I, love Man I just think I just think Superman the movie is just a little bit better, but like like just a smidge, like a tiny tiny. Smidge. Yeah, like a tiny smidge better, but <laughs> yeah, it's mainly because Christopher Reeve as Superman. That's mainly why it's yeah. a smidge better. Oh, yeah, I I, I can understand that. Here, I'll be right back, you guys. Just take over for a little bit. I got this. Oh, yes. I thought you were wondering, Wondershag. I have a question. Yes. What makes a man? What makes a man? His penis size? How much women he's been fucking? Or how much money a man makes in an hour? Throw me that man. Wait, what? No one knew who I was until I took off the mask. Why you don't, you, don't, you don't fear death. You welcome it. Don't make me slap you. Intimidating. Yes. But futile as... Ah! 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 Burn! Feeling burn! Okay, I'm done. Alright. You're saying... Yes. Uh, do I have to bring out the luchador? Jesus. El Blue Mascara. Hola. Oh, wow. Did WWE fan leave already? Yes, he did. Or, or did or did he get cut off? I don't know. I guess uh, we'll see. Taylor, you're back. I forgot there's a trollo in this live stream. Save me. Oh uh, man, sorry. My <laughs> iPad. I'm really starting to get mad at this. Sorry, just my iPad like literally closed out of the app for some reason. No, trust me. That has to be my laptop and. Just so you guys know, in case it does happen to me out of nowhere, if I get cut off, it's because my laptop shuts down on me. So if I'm gone for a few minutes, just keep the live stream going. I'll come back. But I'm just letting you guys know, in case it does happen to me, which I hope it doesn't, my laptop just shuts down on me. So just so yeah, you guys know that ahead of time. Yeah. yeah, by the way, I still have the link to the live stream, so I'm, so I'm good. Yeah. If, I, if it does it again. The, uh, the, but, link I, the link I gave you, right? Yeah. Um, okay. Where were we? It, it was I, I oh, have yeah, no Burn? idea. I, I just is got up any, to know you. Is there any new movies coming out this week? I feel no. like a lot of things coming out this uh, week. Se September is such a slow week, man, but apparently just... the, the only movie that's coming out this Friday is some movie called The Identical. It's about like some... Oh, no, Dolphin Tale 2. That's right. That's the only movie. No. Oh, in No Good Deed. I don't know if you guys have seen commercials for that movie. Sorry. With you guys the, want the mask, I know. Okay. Uh, I don't know if you guys heard me, but uh, that other one, No Good Deed, with Idri I Idris Elba. No Good Deed, Idris Elba. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's more of a slasher movie. Um, I mean, it looks like a B movie, but 
doesn't look like anything special. It looks like the same generic stuff, you know? Well, when you see a person's story of a killer get out of jail, you kind of know what you're in for. Yeah, you know you're going to be in for some... You know, here's how it's going to be. Adrian Selba is going to be good in the movie, and the whole other part of the movie is going to be garbage. Ta-da! You know? All right. I need to see. I really uh, like... Want... Sorry. Uh... What's that? No, no, I am thinking of it. You guys continue. Um, I really like Idris Elba. He's a good actor. Same here. Do you? I would say yes. Yeah. I mean, he's good. Like, Pacific Rim, I know a lot of people are mixed about, but he was really good in that movie. I understood that. All right. Google people. Yes. Um, so, yeah. Um, so what do you guys want to talk about? Um, I actually, uh, how is this, oh, okay, before I continue, um, yeah, uh, alright, uh, I didn't bring this up. Uh, for those of you wondering, yes, uh, there's a lot of things, I didn't tell you guys about an update I'm going to do soon, but I'll let you guys in on this. Uh, right. WWE, you know about my channel? Um, uh, no. It's alright if you don't. It's alright if you don't. Alright, right. uh, uh, what's your channel name? J53518. Oh, so basically this, the the name of of the your uh, username on Google Plus? Yes. Alright, I'll subscribe. Okay, uh, so um, I, I'm coming up is, I'm going to do something called yearly movie reviews, where I review films for five films. From the year 1991, when I was born, to 2014. Mm -hmm. I will talk about films I've reviewed and some good and shitty films. Mm -hmm. So expect Rover Dangerfield, The Room, all of those dumb movies to be on it. <laughs> um, so, yeah, um, October as well, I will be doing Halloween reviews as well. I, will be I won't be doing actually. I won't be doing yes. much reviews. I'll be here's, doing Smash Bros. Here's, here's five. I'm going to give you five. I'm going to review ten horror movies. But I'm gonna give you the five exclusively to this live stream. Where is my that? Favorite, my favorite horror film ever. I know people don't consider it a horror film, but I don't care. Jaws. Yes. Um, Nightmare on Elm Street. Yes. Halloween. Yeah. Well, actually, it's gonna be Halloween then Nightmare on Elm Street. Okay. Friday the Thirteenth. Yes. Okay. Okay. Actually, maybe. And then, and then the fifth one will probably be Alien. No, Scream. Scream will be the fifth oh, one. Oh, but no. you'll know what the rest of the five are. I won't tell you yet. Uh, Alien, I'm not actually going to review. I'm not going to put Alien with my horror film review. Predator. Because I'm going to review the whole franchise. So. Predator, Alien, Thing, Amityville Horror. I can go the list. Goes on. Yeah. Actually, the you, know what? Mm. You, you just want to know the rest of the five. No. No? You want to keep it a surprise? Of course you do. Um, so, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, Jaws, uh, Halloween, Nightmare on Elm Street, Friday the 13th, and Scream are so far what I have planned. I already know the other five, but you can't know. All right. So, yeah. Look at this, Shaq. He fell asleep. Good night, J5. I'm still alive. All right, good. Thank God. <gasps> did you, did you... Questions, people. Questions. Questions. I need questions so Ron Burgundy here can drink oh, more scotch. The lovely have a bull on this gun. No, dude, I'm doing a live stream. I'm doing a live stream. Hey, okay. So. Stop. Uh, any uh, questions for my coke? I have one. Can I have one? Stop. Here. Here you have mine. Drink my tijuana. That's kidding. Oh my god, guys. I gotta say. Stop. Tijuana. Bye. Tijuana. Sorry coke. about that. So bomb. What? Over there. What? Uh, what was going on? Sorry. Oh, oh, we're talking about coke. Yeah, oh my god, god. Oh. my god. Go? There, over there in Tijuana, Mexico, the codes are different over there. 
The Cokes are different. Yeah, the Cokes are different. No. He says I'm a bomb. It, it, just, it tastes so different, dude. It's it's mm. actually better than American Coke. Yeah, over there in Tijuana, it's actually used real artificial sugar made by scratch. Oh, wow. It is it is actually better than regular Coke. You gonna you are you are a, once you taste it you are gonna notice a difference. Alright. Cool. Thank you for wondering. When I go to Mexico next time, I'll, I'll okay. give that in mind. Yeah, I'm doing a live stream right now. Okay. Um, so, uh, so what's your guys' favorite comedy of all time? Oh, God, it's hard to say, but I feel like I'm drunk, man. Just take your time. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know if you guys have uh, ever seen it. Dude, Where's My Car is my favorite comedy of all time. I, I don't, don't like that. I know I... what you guys are going to say. Out of all the comedies. Hey, Tony's back. Hey. Hey. Wow. What What are the odds I tell you guys about my laptop shutting down at, on me, and then one minute later it actually happens? <laughs> So anyways, and yes, back to what I was trying to say before this stupid thing shut down on me, I was going to tell you guys that the only movie coming out this Friday is just some movie called The Identical um, about this rock star that has Ray Liotta in it. And I've only seen the trailer once, so I even forgot what it's about in general. But yeah, that's the only movie coming out this Friday. That's really it, just The Identical that no one's even really yeah. heard of. And no oh, one's we even were talking about our favorite we were talking oh, really? about our favorite comedies of all time. So mm. uh, I said, dude, where's my car? And uh, and they're like, really, have all the comedies? You, like actually, you actually enjoy that movie? I do. <laughs> I do. It has so many memories to me, so. Oh, that's good, man. You find I, car, I, 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 didn't, I didn't like it personally, but I'm glad you did. That's why... I, that's why I love discussing movies. We could always have different opinions on it, so I'm glad to hear yeah. someone actually does enjoy it. Yeah, because uh, it it gets kind of boring when you have the same opinion on the movie. Like like everyone loves Drive. Everyone loves The Godfather, you know, or everyone loves The Wolf of Wall Street. <laughs> I've never seen any of those three, so I can't have my opinion on them. Yeah. What are you doing, Louis? Like everyone loves Titanic, and I don't like that movie. I'm kind of mixed and kind of tortured if I should like it or hate it. I guess <laughs> what? No, I, I got to say, you guys are probably going to hear me for this, but like, I love Titanic for some reason. I, 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 I think it's a really good movie, to be honest. I don't think hey. it's Cameron's best movie, but I do really enjoy watching Titanic. So okay. I could have. His I best movie is The Terminator. Yes. I, Terminator 2 for me. I, loved, I, I really enjoy Terminator, mm. but Terminator mm. 2, just like. Out of the park in every way. Um, Again, just, I'm very, just, I'm very um, listen, now I know a lot of people love the second one. I do. I do love the second one. It's a great action movie, but just yeah. the first one was just a lot better movie, in my opinion, because it's just, it felt, when Arnold was better as the villain than the hero to me. Yeah. Well, you understand just, the story that's already been changing, the different changes in the mythos. They're trying to reestablish the idea of creating cybernetic synthetic humans. There, it's a different time place. It, it's a different story they're going from the sky net. So, I can see why you would hate it and being a hero. But come on, this guy fought the fucking predator. Come on, this guy <laughs> has fought fucking the devil. He's fought. Oh, <laughs> shit, he, he's fought Stallone. Okay, he hasn't fought Stallone yet. I'm hoping that he does broke. Like he that. broke out of prison with Stallone. I, wa I want. to fight zombies. Will he, I want to fight zombies. When he. When he. This yeah, summer, 2016, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Terry, Taylor, uh, Terry Crews, Brad Pitt, um, Brett, Brett, uh, Brett the Hitman Hart, Liam Neeson, Liam Neeson, and Brian Mendoza, star in Left 4 Dead, the movie, <laughs> directed by Rob Schneider. <laughs> directed by Rob Schneider. <laughs> but yet, Adam Sandler, because I want to make a quick buck. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. If yeah. I want anybody to direct um a Left for Dead movie, I actually would yeah. want maybe like Ridley Scott to direct a Left for Dead movie. 
Why? I I don't know. Just because his style would maybe be perfect for a Left 4 Dead movie. I could I don't see know, that, honestly. I can see that, but remember the Silent Hill movie with Sean Bean? Remember how terrible that was? <laughs> Wait, that, that was did Ridley Scott direct, direct that one? Scott? No. That one? Well, Wait, why'd Silent... you bring that up then? Because Sean Bean dies in that movie. <laughs> He does in almost every. Well, he does in well, every it's movie. Not really, well, it's not really a spoiler because he dies in everything. <laughs> <laughs> but Liam it's, it's, all like, it's all like Sean Bean could be in Terminator Six. It's all like spoiler alert. He dies at the end. It's all <laughs> yeah, like that's uh, a surprise. Uh, well, it's like they bring him back as Edward Stark, or they they do the CGI thing. They bring him out as Alex Terenik. Or <laughs> or he could or he could do a voice in Toy Story Four. It's all like spoiler alert. Uh, a toy clown voiced by Sean Bean dies. Aww. It gets, it it breaks. Yes, it breaks. It could be Lord Zerg. He could be Emperor Zerg. He was it was it he can be in uh what is it? He could he could be in a romantic comedy and he still would die at the end. He would play the girl from Romancing the Stone who falls in love with Michael Douglas with his big ass chin. <laughs> Have you guys seen Into the Storm? No. Yeah, I, 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 I saw it actually. I did. No. Please, please, if you have seen that, if you haven't seen the movie, don't pay money to see that movie. It was horrible. Honestly, so, I gotta, I gotta disagree with you on that, man. I actually had a ton of fun with Into the Storm. It was. Um, I had fun when it was when the storms came. That's when I had fun with the movie. But yeah, this, those storms were awesome. This, this everything <laughs> else. Uh, 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 hey, no. You obviously have not seen the November Man, dude. Watching oh, the November Man, right. your pants oh, are changed. I'm trying to forbid from watching that movie. It looks like Three Days to Kill all over again. Well, I have a movie you guys I, will love. Except I Three know. Days to Kill actually knows how to have fun. November Man was, wasn't was fun at all. It just bored the fucking shit out of me. Come on, Jack Ryan was better than that shit. Shadow Recruit was better than that shit. Yes! Jack Ryan was better than fucking November, man. Hell, Metallica um, than the Never. That's not even a crime drama. I'd it's rather watch crime. Into the Storm again, which I really enjoyed once again over the November Man, man. That's how bad it hey, was to me. November Man. I'd rather talk about the Slumber Man. <laughs> I'd rather, I'd rather watch, watch, watch the Storm than to see the Purge Anarchy again, because that movie was shit. Uh, so I'd, I'd review that I on Halloween. It was over. I thought it was decent. I didn't think it was. <laughs> hey, guys. I thought, I, thought, I, thought, I thought it was flat out terrible. I'm sorry, but I thought hey, Purge guys. Anarchy sucked. I thought it was Brian decent. Mendoza. Hey, Brian, what's up? Hey, what's Brian up, Brian? Mendoza. So, Brian? Well, I was watching hey, some Batman. I kind of bored, so I wanted to join. Thanks for joining, man. Um, um, WWE yeah. fan, um, you're looking at the man named Brian Mendoza who did the scream. You want to talk about it? Talk with him. Yes. Oh, yes, no. Talk I, about I, I respect. Fun. I respect your opinion, WWE. See, I'm glad we can have different opinions, but discuss it. Yeah, I mean. I mean, the Purge Anarchy wasn't a horrible movie, but it, yeah. it was decent to me. That, it wasn't. That's how I feel with Into the great, Storm. Like, but it was still a decent movie. Yeah. Like the thing with me with Into the Storm, man. I came in thinking that movie was gonna be pretty bad, but I came out going, "Wow, I actually enjoy the storm scenes. They got me anxiety. Like I literally got anxiety watching the storm scenes. I actually did care about the characters." I actually enjoyed the story. I enjoyed those two stupid rednecks in the movie. Oh, John they were Rape. horrible. Oh, John Reap. Funny as fuck. <laughs> John Reap. Yeah. Um, um, that's how that like, guys, that's I, I felt with it. the Purge Anarchy. I thought yeah. that movie was going to be horrible, but I was like, that was actually pretty decent. <laughs> hey, it's in oh, my man. worst list for sure. That's all I'm going to say for that's Purge Yeah, into the story. Yeah. It's in my... <laughs> yeah. Well, I really did enjoy the perch. Um, I, I mean, this into the storm. Even yeah, though it was all, all you all you did see into the storm, Luis. Yes, I seen into the storm and some kind of other movie. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. Uh, no, I still need to see that. Uh, Team Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. No. Yeah, he's, yeah, he he reviewed that I, one on his channel. I I love uh, um, I'm gonna watch a movie tomorrow. Gonna... What should I go watch? Oh, I'm oh. sorry, you guys. Uh, Brian's trying to talk. Let's let oh, Brian God. talk first. Oh, Brian's getting frustrated. Badger Sean Bean was the main star of The Purge 3, and he dies at the end. He gets shot in the head. Yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, have, you been, have you been hearing our Sean Bean conversation? Yes, Sean Bean. <laughs> <laughs> Sean Bean's just in the 
I didn't jump. I didn't jump Beach to be like a James Bond action figure. Like, yeah. Like, bro, die. Now, how about this? Sean Bean just make a, makes a small cameo in Purge 3 and he gets shot in the head. No, they should do this. Have the scene go back in time to 2010 when the first episode on the day Edward Stark dies on Game of Fucking Thrones and before Joffrey and the Butcher cut him, have the guys from there shoot not only Joffrey but fucking Edward Stark in the chainmail. That's funny as shit. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry, Doctor Who wouldn't do that also. Hey, I'm Luis. I'm sorry. Were you going to say something, man? Oh. And, oh, 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 oh. And also, I've seen The Giver as well. Oh, I, I actually I actually liked that one. That was a pretty yeah, good you know, movie. I haven't too. seen it yet. Me, me too, to be honest. I actually did enjoy it. It was, it was, good. It was actually confusing at first. But, like, then, but then you followed it as it was going on. Yeah, you know, so like, oh, wow. I really Okay. You know what okay. movie I would rather watch again than watch uh, Into the Storm? I'd rather watch Brick Mansions again than watch Into the Storm. Oh, oh, no. Do not bring up that piece of shit. shit. I Bro. hated Brick Mansions, I was, man. I was I so sad that that was it. Paul Walker's last completed movie. I was like... Uh, i never seen it. Well, you can watch Twister again if you want. <laughs> Well, at least we have Fast and Furious 7. So. Yeah. I know a movie uh, that you should go That, that movie is going to be high on my worst list for sure. I hate it, Brick Man. I mean, it's not going to be high, but it's going to be on my list, but it's not, It's nowhere near as some of the other movies I've is seen. It be, is it going to be like in the top 10 or top 15 for you? It'll probably be in the top 10. It'll probably be like maybe 10 or 9, I think. Yeah, yeah. Hey, guys, but I think I'm like... A- was the movie Lucy good? Because I kind of want to buy it when it comes out in my mind. I haven't yeah. seen it. Was it decent, Tony? I, I like Lucy. I thought it was good. I know a lot of people don't game. like it. It's definitely yeah. different. So I could kind of understand why not a lot of people enjoyed it. I know Jacob enjoyed Lucy too. But yeah, it was it was definitely different. So hey guys, I, got a I, I liked it personally. Just going to it knowing it's going to be different, though. That's all I'm going to say. Dang, you right, were, like... Maleficent than anybody. <laughs> really? <laughs> that was alright. It was alright. Jacob will show a picture of Nicholas Cage from Face Off. Nicholas Cage. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're all talking. We're all, we're all talking about movies, and the next thing I see is Nicholas Cage screaming. It's like, what the fuck? Oh, <laughs> I was like, Nicholas oh, Cage. Like Jacob, thanks a lot. Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, Maleficent. I thought it was good. I mean, it wasn't as bad as people were saying it was. Yeah, oh no, it's far from bad, actually. I just thought it was all like, eh, it could have been better, but it's all like, yeah, I, was inter- I was like, it was all like, I was entertained watching the movie, you know, I was entertained throughout, thought the storyline was alright, but it was enough for me to get through the movie, you know I what I mean? I feel like every time someone says The Amazing Spider-Man 2 is a horrible movie, I just feel like pulling in the comments, lay off that movie. The- yeah, like okay. like it like it drives you insane just seeing nothing but negativity towards it. Yeah, I'm like, and like people are like, oh, it's one of the worst movies I've seen this year. Uh, have you seen I Frankenstein: Three Days to Kill? Have you seen those movies? I kind of well, like I, I actually en- I actually enjoyed Three Days to Kill, but that's just me though. I yeah, but, I want cool. to check out. Glad you enjoyed it. Looks, yeah. it. looks pretty good. Wait, what the what was that picture? Wait, what's that picture? What is that? Holy. Holy moly, what's that? Louise. What the fuck? Hey, dude, I'm here. John what? Huffington. I love boobies. Wow, man. Well, yeah, I keep pulling I... pictures up right now. I, I'm on my hey guys. so I can't. Hey, guys, I feel very happy right now. Why are you feeling happy, man? <laughs> <laughs> Why? Wait, let me see Jacob. <laughs> He's the king of faces, man. He's the king of faces. <laughs> That's Nicholas Cage peeing in the bathroom. Thanks for for joining us, John Huffington. If you have any questions to ask all of us, I have a pretty big group here right now. Ask us as many questions as you would like, my friend. And yes, yes, I see it, man. Try to get the picture picture where he has the blonde hair and he's all like, where his eyes are like popping out. Put the money back in the box. I told you to put the money back in the box. Ghost Rider 1 is alright but cheesy, but the second one pissed me off. Uh, yeah, yeah I feel the exact same way. 
I feel the exact same way. Ghost if Rider 1 is seen, okay. Just, um, just any question that pops into your head, John. Whatever you feel like asking us. Yeah, if Ghost Rider seen... 1... Team one. Wait, you guys want to know something about yeah. National Treasure? You guys notice that Nicolas Cage is not going nuts in that movie? You guys yeah, he's, that? A, he's actually normal in those movies. Yes. <laughs> yeah, not. just thinking about no, wait. it. No, wait, the second one, he kind of goes over the top in one part, doesn't he? Yeah, oh, that's yeah. right, I remember. But I mean, it's all like it's one insane person would be in reality, like in those movies. He sticks to oh, yeah, how the way, person National Treasure. Oh, yeah, by the way, National Treasure 1, spoil alert, Sean Bean doesn't die. Uh, Wait, in that movie? What the? That, that's right. I actually, met a me I actually read a meme that said National Treasure, the only movie Sean Bean does not die in. Exactly. <laughs> oh, by the way, guys, I actually do on Facebook on the... <laughs> I need to rewatch it's, that. It's funny how it's funny how us as um as movie fans watch these movies and we could all notice certain stuff like Sean Bean dies or Tom Cruise runs in every movie. It's oh, like it's funny how we can notice stuff like that. Yeah, so if you watch Collateral, there's one part where Tom Cruise runs a lot. <laughs> I thought he always ran in every movie. And uh, as tomorrow, seen, he mean, runs in a robot suit. Yeah, yeah, he runs <laughs> in a robot suit. Run. I can't wait I for that movie to come out on DVD. Has, I wonder if that dude has a trend on his mansion. Seriously. Is that why he runs a lot? That's my guess. Yeah. Does he, does he like, jog every day or something? I don't know. <laughs> Who knows, man? We don't know. I want to see, I want to see Tom Cruise take on Forrest Gump and The Flash in a running contest. I oh. gotta say that. I gotta, I gotta say You don't say <laughs> 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 hey, how about put Tom Cruise and the Olympics in a couple years from now? I'm yes. Superman. Oh, yes. Okay. Who do you guys think will win that battle between Tom Cruise, Forrest Gump, and the Flash? Well, of course the Flash is going to win. Hey, guys, I forgot. I'm oh, Superman. You yeah. forgot to put someone in there. You should put the <laughs> Dash from the Incredibles in there, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Dash. I forgot about Dash. I'm Superman, guys. I can't wait for that oh. documentary, The Death of Superman Lives, What Happened. I can't wait for that. Hey, that Nicholas Cage was Superman and Man of Steel a year ago. That's if Nic Nicholas Cage. Nicholas Cage as Superman. I'm glad you're watching Arrow Season 3, Joe. I can't wait for yeah. Season 3 as well. Hey, guys, an anime picture of Nicholas Cage. I found it's hilarious. Hey, I need to watch Arrow still. I have a good season, catch up. Season 3 starts in one month, man. You have one month to catch up. You have one month. But, 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 one but, month. I'm busy with other shows right now. You, you have pressure. Stop watching Bri Doctor Who and get on Arrow. Brian, I know you're addicted to Doctor Who. I know oh, Doctor not Who. Lately. I know, not lately. I know, Do I know yeah. Doctor Who just gives you that special touch, but you got to get to Arrow, man. I command you. I need you to start Arrow. watching Community. You know I'm saying? A few episodes are right. Well, I told you, I'm Nicholas fucking Cage. <laughs> I'm Nicholas Cage. I'm Nicholas Cage. I'm Nicholas Cage. Yeah, you're so oh. sexy. And I go and I go in a bear suit and punch women. Hey Brian, yeah, I like are... I like I like how me and you have the same shirt, Brian. What are you serious? Yeah, me and you have that same shirt. <laughs> well, I'm not wearing that right now, but I do have the shirt though. Yeah, they're so gonna yell at us. Oh no, Ghost Rider, I understand. Ghost Rider 2, what the fuck? <laughs> I understand Ghost Rider as well, but Ghost Rider 2, what? I I like Ghost Rider. I I don't I know a lot of people even give the first one crap, but it's all like it's fun. At least it knows how to be fun and cheesy, but the second one, it's just all like it's so yeah, over the yeah, place. Yes, like, yes, yeah, second one's like a head scratcher, like what? Adrian Selva was in that movie? What? I mean, I mean he pees Fire for fuck's sake! Yeah, they jumped the shark on that one. They were like, honest, "We're jumping! But, it's jumping!" <laughs> I'll be honest, but I enjoyed the second one. Just how stupid and over the top it got. Yeah, it's I stupid. saw that on a day with my mom. She was pissed because of work. I just did not have to get into that movie. Um, <laughs> what is it? The Ghost Rider Frank? The Ghost Rider <laughs> series is how I feel about the Fantastic. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, really? 
Um, the Ghost Rider, the two Ghost Rider movies, is like how I feel about the two Fantastic Four movies. The first no, one's the okay. Reboot. The first one is okay, care. and the second one is garbage. Yeah. Okay, guys. John Huffington said Wicker Man sucks. Thank you. Well, it, it sucks, man, but it's a guilty pleasure. Like, I haven't seen the Wicker Man. It's so, it's so terrible, but I enjoy watching it, how stupid it is. I mean, come on. How can you not like the line, not the bees, not, not the bees? It's a, might, it's a horrible movie, to, but it's my guilty pleasure. I might, start, guilty pleasure. Ghost I might start doing... Mm -hmm. Both Ghost Riders are guilty pleasures. Uh, yeah. I mean, anybody read the comics? Am I the only one who's read some of the comics of Ghost Rider? You know me, I've never read the comics, man. I I I've, read... I've never read the Ghost Rider comic. I honestly don't read comic books, but I do enjoy watching them just for entertainment. Okay, let's keep moving on. Uh, Brian. Yeah? Um, uh, you can just call me WWE fan, all right? Oh, I want to bring this question up since you guys just said that. So uh, we can't. So we can't call you, sir, WWE fan, the third of all fans of WWE. <laughs> if you want guys, to, guys, if guys, you want to. <laughs> Joe Cambamella, Cambamella came back. Have you seen a movie that was so bad you couldn't finish it? I have. It was called fucking Haunted House too, and it's a shame because I actually liked the first one. So what did that? Wait, wait, I wait, wait what? What? what was the question? You would talk have so you, fast. Have you seen a movie that was so bad you couldn't finish it? I have, and it's um, called... Oh, can I go first? Oh. Yeah, well, yeah right. 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 Okay, let's do this. Let's go with Brian, and then we could go to Luis, and then we could go to Jacob, then you, WWE, and then me last. All right. About what? So, okay. Brian, you go first. Saw so Chris Sugman's review for Battlefield Earth. Oh, my God. I never finished it. Uh, I tried so hard to make laugh at it, and I was like, "Boom, I'm done. Let's watch Game of Thrones." Well, watch some. <laughs> oh yeah, it was a free HBO weekend on cable. Yeah, he showed me an awesome Game of Thrones episode where the valley, like, they're trying to break into this. I would say it's kind of like Lord of the Rings, but yeah. it's it's more gore here. <laughs> <laughs> and then you, Louise. Has there ever been a movie that was so bad that you just couldn't finish watching it? Um, Harry Potter. What's what the what? fuck? What? Really? What? what? Why? Why? Which one? Hey, wait. Uh, calm down, Why? you guys. It's Why? his opinion, but let's yeah. hear what he has to say. We understand. Let's, let's hear what he has to say. Oh, it's got. All right, I was. All right, it's got. Uh, all right, I was like 12 years old when I seen Harry Potter. Oh, that was a long time ago. Dang. Yeah, you know, it was like a long time ago, actually. And, I mean, I was like, it was, I didn't really enjoy it at all. I just, since since I was with my brother, I was like, hey, bro, I don't want to watch it no more. Let's just leave. So I just walked out. We just walked okay. out. Okay. All right. Well, it was a long time ago, so I could forgive that. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you, uh, Jacob. I, I'm sure you have something to say, so go Before ahead, my continue. friend. Let's continue. Let's John's questions. What's all your guys' jobs? No, no, no. Well, let's finish this uh, bad movie question before yeah, we move on. I you guys, but for a long time I couldn't finish the fucking room. <laughs> but I did. <laughs> but I did. <laughs> I finished it, and I was pissed. After that, I got to watch some anime, and I was happy. <laughs> all right, uh, you. <laughs> Oh, I can't believe I have to actually mention this movie, but the first Sharknado. Ugh. I, was, I watched like 10 minutes of it, and I was like, nope, no. And then I went to finish the rest of it, and I was, it was just... It took me like, like I think about like two days, because then like I watched it again. I was like, nope, not again. And then I watched the rest of it, and I was like, I wasted all that time watching that I movie. Don't, I'm crazy. I don't like those movies, man. Yeah. Uh, me, I'm going to be completely honest. Um, no matter how bad a movie is, I'm not one to finish the movie. Because, yeah, no matter how bad the movie is, I don't want to finish it. Because if I don't finish that movie, I can't really give my overall opinion on that certain movie. And it wouldn't be fair... And, and it would be fair with me as a film criticizer or reviewer of movies. So no matter how bad a movie is, I just put up with it. And so yeah, there's, there's a movie. I see a lot of crap, but I never finished it. So 
that, uh, like like I finish it. So that's my opinion. I never oh, I never stop. I just keep going and going until it ends. Well, um, you guys want to know something that happened to me in March or April? Who are you live streaming with? What happened? I, I had a hard, hard time. Yeah. John, you're scaring me. Do what? What? Wait, hold on. Uh, Are you there, WWE? Oh yeah, I'm. I'm all right. Hold on one second. I'll be back. All right. Okay, Brian. I'm sorry. What were you gonna say? I had a torturous time watching Rocky Five on Blu-ray. I was like, oh, I want, I want to finish this movie. I, I've I said, never seen. I've never seen Rocky Five, so I can't comment. Well, <laughs> I told her, oh, you, I can't finish this, and my was like, no, you have to finish it. You're a film critic. I was like, whatever. And I was it's happy when it ended. Movie. When it ended, I was happy. I took a shower, from, and then I relaxed for the rest of the night. All right. Interesting. Okay, now we can get to the next question. The next question John was, what's, asked, what's all your jo guys' jobs? Let me start oh, with mine, because I just want to say I'm currently looking for employment. Hopefully I get to work at Kohl's or Shadowland Laser Tag at the place here in my town. So I'm looking for all jobs. Right. I'm looking forward for Kohl's. All right, John, here is your answer. I work at good old Pizza Hut. That's where I work at. I don't like Pizza Hut tomorrow right now. I love Pizza Hut. It's my favorite pizza place of all time, and the fact that I'm working there, it's so awesome. I can't complain. It's a pretty good job. Me? Where I work at? I work at a Chinese restaurant known as P.F. Chang's Bistro. And is it around here? In, oh, it's in uh, it's, it's in it's in the Altai Rank Center. Wait, you're from Chula Vista? Well, I'm I, back. But wait, 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 uh, Brian, I'm in uh, let's go, I'm in IB right now, Imperial Beach. That's where I'm staying right now. I usually oh, I love it. I love it. The Altai Ranch area. Yeah. Um, wait again. Yeah, 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 yeah. I work at it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause I work over there. I'm known as a drama cook. Slash dishwasher, slash prep, pantry, and uh, Tony, the, oh, good luck, man. Uh, oh, yeah, I already answered the question. I know, I'm not, I'm looking for a job, guys, because, you know, I'm not lazy or anything. I'm just trying to find it out. Just trying to get something to do with the season. I've been talking to Coles, and I'm hoping I get hired next week. If I don't, I'll just keep searching. I don't care if I search till Christmas. I'll look for a job that pleases me and society. That's Mine all about, man. Take, take as much time as you can. Look for that job that... Will pay you at least enough. Look for a job that you're happy with at the same time. Don't just take a job just for the hell of it, especially if you get miserable. Because I've had people that dealt with that, and that's one of their biggest regrets. So just don't follow in that same footsteps as some of the people I know have been. Thank you. Oh, you guys don't know I have a job yet, but I'm thinking about being an actor when I grow up. Nice. What do I, voice actor, writer, I'm trying to be a... And then, um, Airshots22, very quick, he answered the whole movie bad thing. Um, he said, the two movies I couldn't finish that I remember are Semi-Pro and Bridesmaids. Shocking, I know. Okay, I don't like Bridesmaids. Alrighty, no. I'm officially back, okay? Nice. What happened to you? I heard you talking to a, a voice that scared me. <laughs> oh, it was just my brother. I'm sorry. What? We thought we thought it was Morgan Freeman. Oh. Are you? Damn uh, time. All right, I'll I'll be back. All Are right. You? John says, "When you swag, I'm 30 minutes from Churubusco." Young swag. I live in Indiana too. Wait, what? John, uh, click on the Q and A app, man. Okay, you can see yeah. all the questions from there. Yeah. 30 minutes from Churubusco. Young swag five. I live in Indiana too. Well, I don't live in Indiana. I live in San Diego, California, San Diego, California. That's that's all the info I'm gonna give you. So, and I'm not in Indiana. So, <laughs> California, California, hotel, California. No, oh, you never get the joke. The joke is the wizard. If y'all know the nostalgia critic, I'm trying to to be imitating that. California, mm -hmm. California. By the 
By right. the way, Airshot, that's not that's not a shot because I'm honestly one of the um, few people that stand bridesmaids. I can uh, stand bridesmaids. Uh, well, I also live in San Diego. Okay, hold on. Okay, um, I'll be back. I gotta go eat, so I'll be back. Same. All right. All right, um, man. Go ahead. Okay, I'll come as soon. As and my brother wants you to subscribe to his YouTube channel. Hey, tell him my YouTube. It's God Ghost. Ghost seventy seven. Cool. Again? Ghost, ghost. Can you can you type it up for us in the chat, man? Yes. Type it for us in the chat. I challenge that and kid to a rap battle. He would never win. Sure, I'll send you guys I'll send you guys the link to his channel. Yes! You hear me, you little little munchkin? I will find you. <laughs> hey, you little munchkin. You can't out talk me, I'll find you, way. Eh? <laughs> hey, hey, don't be, don't be, don't be, what the fuck? Alrighty, I'll, I'll be back. Once I come back into the stream, I'll, uh, then that's, well, that's when you'll know I'll, I'm back, alright? Uh, alright. Uh, alright, bye. Yo, wait, are you guys gonna be still live streaming? Um, um, we, we, we should, we should still be, um, I'm, I'm aiming another 30 minutes or maybe possibly another hour. So. Same here. Hour, alright, I'll be back. I'll be uh, sorry. about an hour, right? I had I'll be done by then. Okay, bye. All right. Bye. I'm sorry, right. gentlemen. I had to let my funniness out. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's fine. Hey, guys, you know it's random. I just found my some grade picture. You look the same. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, a, a question from Joe Cabby Miller. What's the best and worst... Series finale of a TV show you've ever watched. Tony, start us off. Um, um, I have to think. You guys go first. I have to think about. That. Ryan. Season finale or series finale? Series finale. Well, I. Uh, I know I'm not. Con I watched a few episodes of Breaking Bad, but I really enjoyed that season series finale. Okay. That's the only series finale I've seen. Okay. Uh. What's the worst? Uh, I don't, I don't know, man. Uh, I don't know. Tell me right. next. When you're in swag, you're next. What's up? What's the worst bit? Was the worst series finale you saw on TV, or it was the best? Well, what's the okay? What's the best series finale to a TV show, and the worst series finale to a TV show you've seen? Like the final episode of that TV show. Um, I gotta say when they finish. Uh, to be honest, I haven't really seen those season finals episodes lately. I've just been on the internet, mm -hmm. so I can't. So like, so I can't really answer that question. Let's see. I know I I saw a shitty series finale, but it just doesn't pop into my head. I've seen a lot of good series finales to TV shows, though, like Breaking Bad, like what Brian said. That was a really great series finale. And I've actually reviewed it on my channel if you guys want to check it out. Um, let's see. Hmm. I have to think about this. I would say, let's see, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air had a good one. Family Matters had a good one. Full House had a pretty good one, too. Um, oh, I'm going to go with the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air because I felt like it was a nice conclusion to all the characters and where life is going towards the characters. So I'll say best series finale is the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. And the worst, um, I know some are going to say How I Met Your Mother, but I've never seen the How I Met Your Mother series finale, to be honest. So I know how that ended, but I didn't see the ending. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Come on, I, I know I've seen some pretty crappy series finales. It just doesn't pop into my head right now. Uh. Oh, there you go. My Wife and Kids. Uh, it was it was a good series finale, but they left you with a cliffhanger, and they never continued the show. So it's all like not only was it a series finale, but it kept the show unfinished. It ended with spoiler alert if you guys haven't seen it. Um, Jay finds out that she's pregnant, and literally the sh the show ends from there. It doesn't continue on from there. It just leaves you hanging, saying, "Oh, she's pregnant," and that's your ending. So I'll get I'll get, I'll give my wife and kids for worst series finale. I won't say it's a horrible one per se, but it was just a very disappointing one. So yeah, that's me. 
Come on, guys. Any more questions? We have a lot, man. We're, we're still answering. Jacob, uh, Jacob you? Jacob. Is that me through the sunglasses, Jacob? <laughs> the heck? I'm pissed. The what? worst is Lost. God damn it. Lost oh, and the worst. I, I, that's right. I haven't seen Lost, but I hear a lot of I people say true. how bad it was. Best one. I'd not say it's the best, but I'll name three. 24, the first... Okay, 24. Okay, I, it's still going on. Anyway, fuck that. Yeah, yeah. How about your mother had a great season finale? I cried, and that was perfect. Um, oh, you, oh, you actually enjoyed the series finale to it? Yes. <laughs> okay. Even though it's funny, another one I would have to enjoy was... What else is another one? Oh, uh, what else? I have the old shows I used to watch. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, I guess I could go with cartoons, I guess. Witchblade. Well, well, a show is a cartoon also, so yeah, go Dragon ahead. Ball Z. Yeah, that was and a also, kick-ass and also, also, Witchblade. That was a beautiful ending because the mom and the daughter. <laughs> <laughs> the mom died to save the daughter from getting ripped of an alien soul, and she kills herself to save the daughter. Uh, and then she's the eight-year-old girl who lives on her own. <laughs> yeah. And then Joe and then Joe Cabby Mella asked the uh, the Simpsons or Family Guy. As I much as I enjoy that. as much as I enjoy Family Guy, I gotta go with the Simpsons all the way. I grew up with the Simpsons. I loved it as a kid. Oh shit, I spelled uh, T on myself. Sorry. Um, I uh, I still love the show now. I've been a huge fan back then and now. So I'm gonna say the Simpsons for me. Yeah, I spilled myself. You guys can answer this. I gotta clean myself. Brian, you're next. Oh, Brian, think as well. Uh, I would say Simpsons. I like it. Jake, you were scaring me about the sunglasses. One on swag. You. I'm waiting. Awkward silence. What? What is your... Simpsons or Family Guy? Simpsons. I just said it right now. I don't watch them anymore, actually, but I guess if I want to go with one, yeah, The Simpsons, when I used to watch it, but currently I don't like them anymore because I watch anime. Have you guys... Uh, uh, that's good. Have you guys ever caught the uh, 12-hour show? I'm non-stop at... I'm I, non I caught it. I did too. Well, it's part of some of it. The 12 hour series? Yeah, I watched some of it, but I have been watching it and I love it. The nice to relive some of the glory days. Oh, yeah. What's on 24? Alright, so here's a question from John. How many times did you laugh at Austin Powers Goal member? Uh, I didn't watch. I've seen some of it. But I like gold. Hey, Tony, I'm going to let you know. I'm going to watch Easy A tomorrow. Find the Street Fighter V tomorrow night. She is nice. hot. Thanks for the pop out, by the way, dude. Oh, oh I spilled fucking tea all over me. Sorry. All right, how much did you spill? Hey, Brian, look. Me and you are wearing <laughs> the same shirt now. What the heck? That's bizarre. I changed shirts. I changed shirts since I spilled fucking tea all over me. So sorry about that. Guy. <laughs> oh, don't, blame him. don't blame him, but blame yourself. <sighs> Is it wrong to blame? No. I should know who to blame. Uh, to wear the same shirt. <laughs> How many times did you laugh at Austin Powers? Oh yeah. By the way, time to do I hate a full house. And so does Nostalgia Critic. No, I haven't seen Nostalgia Critic's review of it, and I respect your opinion, John Huffington. I love Full House personally, and I have to thank my brother for that, actually, because I, I remember I actually wasn't interested in Full House, and I never even gave it a chance, which was very biased to me. Then my little brother actually convinced me to watch it, and I'm like, hey, Tony, you should give Full House a chance. And I'm like, uh, I don't know. I watched an episode. And after watching that one episode, I'm like, okay, I'm going to watch more episodes. And ever since then, I love Full House. I've been watching it since I was, I've been watching it since I was in sixth grade, and it still holds a lot of memories for me. So that's why it's one of those special shows to me. Uh, 
Sorry about that once again, you guys. Go, go ahead and continue talking while I'm cleaning up my mess. All right. Uh, sorry, I just checked on Facebook. Uh, I'm back. I'm back. Um, did I laugh at Gold Member only once? And then after that, it's not funny to me anymore? Because Austin Powers has really lost my shag. And apparently Mike Myers is not funny to fucking anymore. Because his career with the Love Guru pissed me off. Oh, the Love Guru was shit. That's why I don't like Mike Myers anymore. Okay, the only thing he's ever done that was good was Wayne's World and the first album Powers, and that was it. I I feel like Mike Myers doesn't even try anymore. He's not in a bunch of movies anymore. Yeah, that's true. The last Whoa. movie, I, the last movie was Shrek Forever After. Huh? Is that, that was, his that last? Was, yeah, that was his last movie. Huh. After he did Glorious Bastards, is playing a funny Nazi gay one, and then I'll be right back here. That was it. That, last, that was like two thousand and. Damn, that was like 2010, God. man. Well, I, the last movie I saw him in was in Glorious Bastards. Well, that was uh, 2009. Nine, yeah. Am or, I right? Um, yeah, you had it right. Yes. <laughs> uh, and Shrek came out near my graduation day. When I graduated from high school, actually. Donkey. <laughs> donkey. <laughs> donkey. The donkey. Dinker, dinker, donkey. I have a chicken poke. I took all the ga, 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 tortilla down. My quesadilla. Oh, have ever you been to England? No. I want to go there. Has, but no. I want to go there someday. It's all my places Arroz con pollo. Yeah, yeah. Arroz oh. con pollo. Yeah. I, I, I really want to go to New York someday. I want to go to Tokyo. That's where I want to go to, damn it. I want to go there, too. Let's go to Brazil. Uh, Let's go to Do they have a Godzilla statue over there? I doubt they will. I doubt they will. Jum, jum, jum. Oh, God. Jum, 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 jum. Jum, 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 Question, have you ever been to England? Joe Cabaniella asked us. Have you ever been what? Have you ever, of all of us, for Joe Cabaniella, he asked us, have you ever been to England? No. Nope. Never no. been to England. <laughs> Me neither. Hey, but WWE case, is back. Awesome. But in case, uh. I'm back. <laughs> I just wish I could play the Terminator 2 theme song, but I'm afraid we'll get copyright for that, so. Yeah. That's the only thing that's staying, so you can't play music. Hey, Dodo, guess what? I spilled tea all over myself right now. Wait, wait, was it the oh. lip sync I want to make sure it was no, I'll one. be able to. I'll be able to rewatch it, don't <laughs> worry. What tea was it? Oh, look at this. Someone's mad cheese. Someone's mad cheese. What's mad cheese? Like yeah, it's when... Oh! Oh, dang it. It's when two people were wearing the same thing. I never heard that word. My brother made it up. I doubt he... I doubt, okay, let me say the name to you. I doubt your brother has better vocabulary. Not saying he's stupid, okay? But I'm just saying, there's machismo and there's man don't, manganese. Don't be rude, man. Don't be rude. I'm not being mean. I'm stating a point. Um, that's all I got. Hey, so we got to find the What? <laughs> what are you doing? I spilled tea all over me, so I'm cleaning up my mess. What type, what type of tea was it? It's sweet tea. Oh. <laughs> sweet tea. Oh, Brian, I actually have a picture with sweet me in my room right now. I haven't drank tea in a while. <sighs> all, right. Yeah. all right, guys. Uh, I have fun to say this, but I gotta go. Oh no! I have to go. I have to go. No, Jacob! No, no, no! no. no. Jacob, I have to go, don't, guys. Don't leave us. I have to go. No, all right. I have fun with my stepdad, and I'll all be right, back. I may, right. I may join you guys again. I may come back. Bye. See ya. You were a lot of fun. All right, man. See ya. Thanks for thanks for joining the live Q and A, then. See you guys, J Five out, and see y'all next time.
See you later, man. Boom. Bye bye. We're gonna tell him on Skype later. Never mind. <laughs> Don't worry, yeah. he's on he's on Skype a lot, man. I'm sure you could talk to him there anyways. And yeah. now there and now there were four of us. There are four. Where? Where's my Nicholas Cage pictures? Just kidding. Next. Alright, I got some questions over here. Hold on. What are those questions? Yeah, got a couple questions in the comments section of this thing, so hold on. You uh, guys subscribe! Okay. Dude. Sorry about that. Hello? Okay, uh, Real, Real Chase Lee asked us, which movie at TIFF are you wanting to see the most? Can you imitate the Christian Bell rant on the set of Terminator Salvation? I'm sorry, what was the question? Okay, um, Chase Lee asked us, which movie at TIFF are you wanting to see the most? Well, I'm not well. I'm not really familiar with Tiff to be honest, uh, Chase. I didn't even get to see the list yet. But um, I, well, I heard Nightcrawler is playing at Tiff, so I guess I'll say Nightcrawler for that one. Wait, is this Toronto Film Festival, right? Yeah, yeah. What is that movie with Channing Tatum coming up? Oh, uh, Foxcatcher. There you go, Foxcatcher. That's the one I'm really excited to see. I'm really looking forward to uh, a walk among the tombstones with Liam Neeson. Oh yeah, that movie. Which take that? it three point aka that movie. <laughs> and then he also asked if you can imitate the Christian Bell rant on the set of Terminator Salvation. Give me my money, boy. Okay. We don't have a British accent for that. <laughs> <laughs> I, oh, one second. I, it's just been a, it's been a while since I've one second. It's been a while since I've seen Terminator Salvation, so I can't really imitate his voice. I'm sorry about that, Chase. <laughs> I don't really. I, was it the video he was ranting on set? Yeah, that's. He said something about that. That's why he just sent the question. Oh um, yeah, I remember. Yeah. That we invited to in ages. Yeah. And then Crazy Reviewer123 asked me, here's a question, do you plan to do a review on the new SpongeBob movie coming out? Well, Crazy Reviewer123, I review movies that come out. Like, I go to screenings to review movies, so of course I'm going to see a new SpongeBob movie, and of course I'm going to review it, because if I didn't review it, my life wouldn't be complete. <laughs> so yes, I will. of course I'll be seeing that one, and I hope to have a screening for that. Uh, that year because that would be awesome. So yeah, of course I'll definitely review that. <laughs> I was wondering, Tony, what was your first movie you saw the screening? Oh, like my first advanced screening? Yeah. Uh, uh, now you see me. I've been um, going, I'm back. I've been going to advanced screenings Sorry. since last year. Here's how I started going to advanced screenings. I would see an ad. Uh, on Facebook, and and Sinmark was actually having the screening. Sinmark is, Sinmark is all like, do you want to see Now You See Me a week and a half early and for free? I'm like, huh, this is interesting. And then I got to go see Now You See Me, and ever since I saw that movie, I'm like, so what website has these screenings? Because, you know, I, can't, I don't always have enough money to see every single one of these movies, so the screenings really helped me out a lot. So... When I, I found the website called advancedscreens.com, from there I've been winning tickets, printing out tickets, and ever since then I've been going to screenings more often. And trust me, it has helped me out so much because I get to give out all these movie reviews for my channel. So thank you so much to Advanced Screenings, and thank you Sinmark for making for helping me start going to Advanced Screens. Because if it weren't for Sinmark with that Now You See Me promotion thing last year. I wouldn't be going as of today, probably. So I have some art to think of that. I'm hoping I'll be going to some of our theater in Vegas when I go back. Yeah. Which will be fun. So that was my first advanced screening. It was Now You See Me. I got to see it a week and a half early before it came out in theaters. So that was awesome. That made me really happy since I did really enjoy the movie. I haven't seen that movie in a while. <laughs> did, you really, did, you, did you really enjoy it? Yeah, that was a really cool one. 
Yeah, I, I like I like the magic tricks that they did, man. That was pretty cool. I like the one where they transport into money. Oh, oh, that that was, was really that was really clever right there. Why can't it happen to me? I would teleport. And I would bring money with me. Like for example, I'm going to Best Buy at O time, <laughs> and then boom, yeah. I'm there with my money. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm Luis. Um, anything you want to say? You haven't really talked in a while. Oh, are you on mute? No. You're on. Oh, oh, he tricked us, the bastard. I just Say remember you guys. Say it! Why? <laughs> so, like, Brian, you live in Chula Vista, right? Yeah. That's cool. I live in IB. I've never been to PF Chains yet. Maybe sometime. Who knows? Yes, that's where I work. And then let's see. Joe Kebimela asked us Stewie or Rallo? I gotta say Rallo. Yeah. Uh, no clue to uh, answer. Um, Stewie from Family Guy, Rallo from The Cleveland Show. I'll go with Stewie. Oh, actually, to be honest, actually, I will actually go with, with Rallo, actually. Oh, really? You like Rallo better than Stewie? Yeah, in fact, Stewie's funny and all, but like the way that Rallo talks, damn. And now <laughs> Rallo's on Family Guy, so we get to see Rallo and Stewie talk more often now. I know. <laughs> hey, um, Teva, Teva Smoke, Tevia Smoka asked if he could join. Um, yeah, Tevia just. Uh, go to my 22 Targeted Facebook page. I'll go ahead and send you the link from there, man. We'll probably have this Q&A for, like, another good 30 minutes. So if you don't mind, it probably won't be for that long. But, yeah, you could join, man. I'll send you the link on my 22 Targeted Facebook page. I'll message it to you, and you could click on the link from there. So just give me a sec, man. What time did you guys start? You guys um, I, I started at 2.30 my time. My time, I start at 2.30. Uh, hey, sorry, uh, guys. What's yeah. up? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Sorry, just craziness was happening. Sorry. All right. There you go. Give me a shout out. Okay, I will. I do. You do this. Hold on. <sighs> all right, let's. See. All right, let's see. As the Simpsons episode is near, which character do you think is going to get killed off? I'm doing a contest on my channel, and whoever um, gets it right gets a shout after the episode airs. Hey, Tavia, um, how are you yeah, doing, man? Good. 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 Uh, twenty-two tiger dude. I can't. Yeah. Um, I, my uh, I my other brother that wants you to subscribe, but, subscribe yeah. to his channel. Talma, I'll subscribe to him uh, after this live stream. He'll subscribe to you after this live stream. Yeah. It's Minecraft Crazy Nine. Three. Minecraft Crazy Three. All right. Yeah. Three. If you can try your All best right. to find it. I'll yeah. try find it. Either that, or I'll send you the link to it. Yeah, do that. Good idea. All right. And then as for the question, um, okay. I don't want him. I don't want him to get killed off. But I'm having a bad feeling they might kill off Krusty the Clown in the Simpsons season premiere. My guess is that they'll kill off Krusty the Clown. I want them to kill him off, but I have a bad feeling they're gonna kill him off. So. Well, they killed a homage mom. That happened. Yeah. But no, there's like a supporting character from The Simpsons that's going to die in the season 26 premiere in a few weeks. So the question is, who do you think is going to die in the season 26 premiere? Uh, why, Grandpa? Bart Simpson. No. No, but not the family. Just the supporting oh. characters. It's not. It's no one in the Simpsons family. It's the other characters. Oh. The no, officer, not... the police officer. Oh, Chief Wiggum. No. Yes. I don't. I don't think I don't they're think gonna so. kill him. Uh, I don't think um, so. Um, does Mo? Well, they can't. They can't. I think um, friendly wife. 
Kevin, mm -hmm. find his wife. Maud. Let's go to yeah. her. Wait, way back in there, it seems. Wait, does Mo? Nope. Mo count? Well, yeah, Mo, yeah, Mo, yeah, Mo could count. Is that your guess, Brian? Yeah, even though I don't watch Simpsons, I uh, yeah, I watch, I watch. You know what episodes? Reruns here and there. Yeah. Not new episodes. Still. On Fox, I've only seen, seen the movie episodes. and one episode. That's it. Well, well, I well I've seen a lot of episodes. I have not see the one. I skipped the season one. Season one bad. It seemed to have got much better. But then I went down there like me seeing sick after the movie. I do, I might do. Who's seen the tree of the horse? The old ones. Oh, and Joe, Joe Cabby Miller asked us Have you ever seen The Shining and did you find it scary? I saw a part of it, but I never saw it on that yeah. thing. Um, do I, I'm yeah, what was I'm the gonna question? Be, I'm gonna be honest. Oh, I'll tell you right now, man. But I'll be honest. That's I, I haven't seen that movie. But the thing is, since I am planning my month of Halloween reviews for next month, that is added to my list. So I will see The Shining for the first time sometime this month. So I'll know by then. Okay. But from how I see in the clips I've watched, yeah, it's scary to me. The question is, uh, WWE, have you ever seen The Shining, and did you find it scary? Here's Johnny. Yeah, the I've seen the movie. Was, uh, it, um, yeah, the it's, yeah, it's a scary movie. I did enjoy it. Okay, cool. You, I Brian, watched, have you seen it? Well, actually, me and my brother watched it for the first time. I had a movie marathon, and I saved it for like the last movie of the night. And oh my god, I watched it with Round Time, right? And I was like, I was yeah. so creeped out. Such a creepy. I think you'll enjoy it. Uh, Jack Nicholson gets insane in that movie. I'm just going to say that. I'm not going to touch you. I'm just going to patch your brains in. I also want to finally watch it because of Jack Nicholson's iconic performance. So I also want to <laughs> see it for that. Here's Sean. Um, I what love about this you, line. Louise? Have you seen it? Have you seen it, Louise? The Shining? Um. Parts of it, but not all of it. Um, well, you know, I just had Perry of Shining with the Simpsons. Yeah. I just had Perry of that with the Homer. Here's, here's, what the discard, here's what the discard looks for the Blu ray. Mm. Oh, wow. <laughs> I got it with this for like. But then, um, who's seen Shutter Island? I, I, I have. I thought it was pretty interesting. I liked it. In my band, Shaw, I one of my favorite movies. Oh. Uh, when, when is, is, that one of, is it one of your oh, favorite Stacey yeah, movies? Mm hmm. Nice. Yeah, 2010. Yeah, Sh yeah Shutter Island's a good movie. I really mm -hmm. like it. I've never seen it. Surprisingly, I haven't seen the other two movies in this set yet. I heard two. I haven't I've never seen, seen those two. I've never seen, I've never seen 2001 A Space Odyssey, but. I heard it's a movie you really have to pay attention to, a movie that really makes you think from what I heard. I tried watching I hear that. It's well, I, I hear it's really boring. boring. I remember watching some of the Clockwork Orange. I was like, why am I watching? There's naked people in there, by the way. <laughs> I tried watching it. I couldn't face the film. It was so goddamn boring. It's not bad. Well, I couldn't finish it. Yeah. Yeah. Like, if you watch a bad film, um, um, wa uh, watch Batman and Robin. <laughs> okay, oh, never mention that movie. <laughs> oh. Bad, but but it, but it, 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 it's a hilariously bad. Uh, you, Batman and Robin bad. is the worst movie I've ever seen in my entire uh, life. What you the dinosaur? Yes, it. Oh. <laughs> Uh -uh. You want to know who killed Batman? Joel Schumacher for a little bit. Yep. <laughs> and then and, and, and it took no one and I, I'm going to use to fix it. That did almost, all... almost 10 years. Almost. After Sony, <laughs> Sony is doing something with Spidey. Um, what's your name? I'm sorry. Tevia. Uh, Tevia Smoker. Tevia. 
type of smoker. What's your opinion on the new Amazing Spider-Man franchise? I hate it. <laughs> and the and the la and the last Q and A he joined in, he was telling me how much it really frustrated him, and I can understand his yeah. points, but yeah. I personally we really enjoy the franchise overall, but. After Tevya's points, I could like okay, I could agree with his points on why he didn't like the franchise, and that's cool. Yeah. That's cool. Well, yeah. well, well, what we don't like the franchise because understand we built. Honestly, yeah. as much as I love the original Spider-Man, um, I honestly think the new films are better than the other franchise. But that's my opinion. I I could see that to be honest. My yeah. heart goes, my heart, even though I really like The Amazing Spider-Man, and I like The Amazing Spider-Man 2, I do think I, I like the original franchise a little more. And yes, I do really like Spider-Man 3. I know, it's, I know it has a lot of hate, but I do really like that one too. So when there's three movies where I like the first one, I love the second, I really like the third, that, that's me going towards, uh, you know, the original. Yeah. Me, oh. me, I like the first Spider-Man movie, I love the second one, don't like the third one, The Amazing Spider-Man is great, The Amazing Spider-Man is good, The Amazing Spider-Man 2 is good. So, so, so you prefer the original one as well? Well, actually... Uh, the, the, prefer, the, the original oh, film, not the, not the franchise, the original film, sorry. Yeah, the original film, but well, I film. prefer both of the Amazing Spider-Man movies over the first and the third one, but not the second yeah. one. This yeah, film cannot yeah. be touched un until something good comes out of the movies. Oh, wait, it's all good, Spider-Man. Spider-Man, after you don't start the comics, watch this. This is great. This is way better than the movies. Oh. Spider-Man... Yeah, Spider Exactly. Even though I'm still planning to get the first, the original trilogy on Blu-ray, eh, Spider-Man 3 is okay. Um, I really, I really enjoy the first one, the nostalgic movie. So the second I... one, I thought it was really good as the original. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that's a yeah. that's a great trilogy. Well, hey, I'm uh, sorry to interrupt you guys, but Joe Kebby Miller just wanted to ask us: Have any of us seen One Hour Photo? If you haven't, he recommends it. It's an awesome movie. Yeah, I haven't seen I've that never movie, seen but it. I do, but I do want to get around to it. Yeah, I, haven't, yeah. I haven't seen it, but I heard Ryan Williams is just creepy. Yeah, I, I heard he was really creepy in the movie. Actually, have you seen Boyhood? Yeah, I, I I've seen Boyhood. Yeah, I saw it Sunday. Finally, and I, and I finally, I finally made, made, made my review of it today. Did you? Did you I really enjoy boyhood. it? Mhm. Mm well, here's the thing. Um, the plot itself, the plot is so hard to explain because it's basically watching real life. And well, as I said, as I said in my review, yeah. Spoilers. Um, it's three hours long, and it kind of <laughs> it wasn't bad. I I I I, I, I give it a I give it a four out of five. I, um, oh, that, that's that's still really good. Yeah, um, I liked it, but was it perfect? I don't know. Well, that yeah. that happened twelve years, obviously. I I really I really love the movie. It's definitely gonna be in my best list at the end of this year. Yeah. I just thought I thought it was a very I thought it was one of the most original movies I've seen this year. I love the amount of heart and care Richard Linklater had for the film. I really love seeing the characters grow up and where life is taking them. So even though the movie is yes, two hours and forty six minutes, and usually when and usually when a movie is that long, it's usually a big action movie like The Dark Knight Rises or, Lord or, or, Trans or Lord of the Rings or Transformers. But this one's Solid. two hours and forty six minutes. But this one's two hours and forty six minutes of what you said, Toba, just reality. But the whole yeah. time of the movie, ah. I was never bored watching the movie, to be honest. The two hours and 45 minutes actually kind of went by fast, Marie. Not, like, really fast, but it kind of went by fast, Marie. I did feel the running time a little, but I still love the movie. I was never bored watching it. Question well, for you, it was, it was, um, it um, Boy, I did like I did enjoy the movie. I don't think it would... I don't think I think it was the greatest movie I ever made. Yeah, I, I understand that. I understand but that. I still enjoy it. What what okay. what last season of theaters? Eh, probably not because I'm not gonna yeah. watch. Yeah. I got a question. Judas. Smoke. Okay. Yeah. Um. Have you ever seen The Crow? Yes, I have. Wait, which one? The the, uh, the one with Brandon Lee. Sequels? 
The Brandon Lee one. Yeah, I seen that one. Okay. Back, I think I own it. Yeah, I'll probably look for it later. What are your guys' thoughts on these movies? Have you guys seen them? Um, we could have one, we could one two, we could one three. I don't want to pull up my Um, ironically, I've never seen any of the Lethal that. Weapon movies. I still have to see those movies. I haven't really enjoyed these. These are reaction films. But and, you know that you should add to your list for next one, Tony, even though I would say it's kind of like a horror movie? Yeah. The Crow? The one we mentioned yeah. just now. That's an, um, yeah, what that, that's, what, that's what WWE fan was talking to me about, actually, Brian. It's funny how you mentioned that because he actually told me the same thing that I should add that movie to my list and uh, try to get around to it. So you, you're not the only one that just said that to me today. You should, you <laughs> should find this. Movies? Definitely find this at I see. Um, the comic book movies, Kick Ass, I thought it was good. Um, Conan, it's the remake, right? Oh, yeah. Teva? It is the remake. Oh, I, I the, re the remake was terrible. I yeah. couldn't stand watching it. Um, I've um, never seen I've never seen the spirit. Never seen the spirit crow. That's fine. And yeah. I've never seen Punisher. So I've only seen two out of those five movies you have on the cover. Um, yeah. um sorry. I saw uh, the crow. I saw one. I saw one. Spirit, I thought so, but it's so goddamn st horrible. I was wondering, oh, sorry, Tony, do you have a pawn shop around your area, like these DVD store? I'm yeah. pretty sure I do, Brian, no, but yeah. I, I've never been to a pawn shop. Like, right. I'm pretty sure I do have one, but I just never bothered to really look for one out. I should try Excuse to me, do uh, that, though. Smoker? We should, def we should definitely yeah. find this for, like, a good deal. Sorry, I didn't, I didn't yeah. hear your uh, thoughts on the, uh, on the crow because it... For some reason, my iPad's like, no, I'm not gonna let you listen to anybody right now. So, what'd you say it was? Yeah. Did you... Well, yeah, the, the crow I like actually because actually it, it's very dark topic, of, uh, obviously, and actually it, it's actually a very good actually re re revenge movie. However, I'm going for the sequels. The series could go to hell because those could do not exist. Hmm. I didn't enjoy it. Um, me. I do you enjoy the first crow? Me, I just, I think it's actually a fantastic movie, if, because, mostly because of the performance by Brandon Lee, yeah, to me it's actually bad. one of the, because actually it's, to me, one of the best performances a, an actor has ever given, actually. This is definitely one of my favorite comic movies of all time, yeah. I think it's just fantastic. Yeah, yeah, it's not just not too. one of my, it's just not one of my favorite comic book movies of all time, but it's one of my favorite movies of all time. But five classic films. Well, actually, this box is long because Crow is the classic, Kick Ass is the classic, Punisher. I don't know about that one. Um, is not classic. Crow is not classic. The Spirit is horrible. So this box is long. This I really, horrible. I really want to see. I really want to see yeah, the Punisher with good. Thomas Jane. So I know you haven't seen the Punisher, but I, mean, I, I definitely recommend getting the. Regular cut and the extended cut. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I, mean, I, 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 I get it. A lot of people say The Punisher with Thomas Jane is a bad movie, but it can't be that bad. It's Aren't not horrible. Like, it's not like horrendous. Honestly, uh, like, uh, in my opinion, I think this is a, had a really great movie. I love it. Um, I think it's, a, it's definitely, even though it's a comic book movie, it's also like their action revenge films. Yeah. And it's a well-made um, one. You know, well, my I mean, action movie is J.W. Right. Universe, he, he said it was a great movie, so I, I'm trusting his opinion on the movie. I love it a lot. Yeah. It's probably there he does it sometimes. We can punch it. I did. I want to play the Punisher video game when that came out. Sometime in the movie. Oh, no. My brother played the Punisher game. It's so freaking gory. At some parts he played it, he was like, Oh my God, it's too gory. <laughs> well, that's the point, Punisher. Exactly. Unlike uh, Spidey or uh, Mario, Punisher is you take no names. He kills. Punisher Wars that wasn't really that good. Uh, if but... you if you want no gory stuff, then play a Superman video game. I don't know. Or or what? Or <laughs> or play a Red Two game. 
But that was my brother at the time. He was like 14 or something. Yeah. Yeah, you well, know, it might have been. If you need a secret of dread, damn it. <laughs> I'm going to see go. No, 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 we made Robocop. That's, that, that movie should not exist. The well, remake of Robocop was awesome, in my opinion. I thought it was a great movie. Yeah, I, 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 I like the remake, to be honest. Like, it's not as good as the original, but I still thought for what it was, they did an interesting, different take on it. Yeah, I love the yeah. original. Original is is best. Peter Weller is awesome. Oh my god! In fact, I I thought the remake. I what? would say that the Robocop no, film. No, I would say it's more of a reboot. Robocop. I would say it's more of a reboot, but I thought it was a pretty good one. Not as good as the original, which I do understand. Yep. But yeah, it was good. Dead or alive, you coming with me? Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I love the original. The, the original is one of my favorite movies of all time as well. Yeah. I have the unrated director's cut on Blu-ray. Hey, you guys, I got to ask I, you, I, um, you guys, I, I want to ask you guys, do you all do you all have a stop broadcast button on you? Like, do you guys see a stop broadcast button? No, I do not. No, Sorry. I know, Tony has it. No, the reason I ask is because... I have to leave somewhere in a little bit, and if I leave, you guys could like still take over my live stream, and like one of you could stop it. That's why I was saying that way I don't have to stop this live stream uh, interrupted because I know you guys are having fun chatting, but I have right. to leave somewhere in like five minutes. That's why I'm asking. All right. We, um, we don't, well, we don't I, have I, the I, button. I'm, I'm sorry, Jay, but we don't have the button. Unfortunately, yeah. you're the one that has it. Oh, okay. Man. All right. Well, yeah, I, I only have a hang up button. That's it. Yeah, so do I. Oh, okay. And put me microphone and turn up camera. And that's it. Yes. I'm gonna. Uh, so in about four minutes, I'm gonna have to uh, end the live Q and A. Is that fine with you guys? Yeah. 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 Because yeah, because I gotta leave somewhere because I have family from out of town that just arrived today, and I gotta go uh, see them in a little bit. Yeah, that's more yeah. important, dude. Yeah. yeah. Comes first. Yeah. You family did come first. Thanks, you guys. Right. Anytime, man. Thank God. Let's see. Let's see. Let's let's see if there's any other questions. Yeah, okay. Question. Um, question from Westheimer King. X Men: The New Movie. What are mm -hmm. your thoughts on it? Uh, Days of Future Past, and what do you think of the upcoming apocalypse? Um, I haven't I haven't seen it yet, so try. Can you guys try not best to give spoilers away because I actually haven't seen the movie yet. Mhm. Mm yeah. Um. Yeah. To be honest, the new action movie, in my opinion, I thought it was okay. Yeah, I, I understand. That's my opinion. Sorry. I'm just saying. No, I understand. We all have different opinions on the new action movie, but yeah, yeah. It was okay. Yeah, I understand. Everyone loved. Lots of you guys love it. But I I liked it. I mean, I got kind of bored watching it, but it's a, I enjoyed it overall. I, I respect that. I respect that. Oh, um, I'll go next. Um, I love X Men: Days of Future Past. X Men: Days of Future Past finally brought the franchise back from the dead after X Three destroyed it. X Men Origins ruined it. Fuck you, Brett Ratner. Fuck you. I Brett Ratner. Ratner. Go ahead and sing, sing a save the franchise. Well, so did, so did actually, um, who made Fresh Grass? Oh, are, you doing, are you doing okay there, Louis? Um, huh? Okay, Matthew Vaughn. Matthew Vaughn saved oh, Fresh so Grass. Oh, okay. And Wolverine, the Wolverine, the true Wolverine, she thought he saved it. And then he's back finally fixed it. Thank God. And I can't wait to Apocalypse. That's going to be awesome. I got X Men. Wait, don't. I heard something. Uh, try our best not to spoil about the movie, you know. I will. I will. Sorry. But oh well, do see it. You you will love it. If you have time travel, you you will love it. Okay, Wait, you guys. guys yeah, I think I think I have a good idea because I think um the live stream could still go on because I just realized, you know how when my laptop shut off, you guys were still able to be online without me. Yeah. I think oh, yeah, what I'll right. do. I yeah. think what I'll do. I think I think I could just. 
I could just press the leave call button, and you guys could still take over uh, as much as you want. Wait, uh, that's not going to work, because when you're gone, it's going to be off air. No, right? Brian, no, Brian, it's, be no, Brian, it's because I just realized if... Uh, my, if my laptop shut down, yet you guys are still online, you guys are still live. Like, during those five minutes, I was gone. So you guys will still be live even if I'm gone. Just one of you has to press the leave call button. Like, once you're all done with this whole thing, you can press the leave call button, and it'll stop being live from there. But you guys will still be live without me, though. Yeah, yeah. All right. So, wait, just very quick before you guys... Before you guys continue talking, I gotta go now, everyone. But uh, everyone else, you could take over the live stream. And just very right. quick, I, I'll, I'll leave a link to J5's channel, William Slick 5's channel, Brian's channel, WWE's channel, and Tevia's channel mm -hmm. in the description below. Thanks for watching, you guys, <clears throat> and enjoy the rest of the live stream. Yeah. Bye, you guys. Right. I'm out too, actually. Right. Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll probably. I love yeah, you guys, so subscribe to my channel, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and like my new Facebook page, facebook.com slash one yanks by five. Peace. Yes. Peace. <laughs> and then, and then there were three. Three. What's up? Not All right, All right so uh, what do you guys I'm want to talk about? I'm actually going to go now, guys. I'm sorry, but I'm just going to relax because I'm tired from school. But yeah. nice talking to you. So, see you guys. Yeah, right. yeah so, I got, yeah, I got, um, I got, um, I got, I got to go to, I need to be there. Yeah, I you know, I need dinner. So I'm starting. So, if the live right. stream is still going on, I'll probably jump back if it's possible. So, yeah. See you, man. All right. See you. I don't know how to end this. Uh, I don't end this. Uh, uh, I figure out something for this uh, live stream. Hold on, I'm trying to figure out something. Whoops. This call has ended.